Hello everyone, welcome to today. Out of the Cold. This is a D&D campaign I'm playing with some friends. These are friends of mine that I've met through various places on the internet, mostly Discord. Um, yeah, so uh, should we do some intros? So you, do you want to go around and introduce yourself? We have. Um, I'm going to go with Diaz. Uh, so I play Sin, a half-elf druid. And um, Syria? I play Sin, a half-elf druid. Okay, and then Celia? I played Miala, a feline uh, wizard. Um, and George? Uh, I am Mora Rook, and I am a bugbear uh, zealot barbarian. And Luke? Well, I'm Luke. And I play a rather grumpy monk, human monk. Yeah. Not too distant from the truth. Um, (laughs) Just Just a little little bit grumpy. A little little bit bit grumpy. (laughs) Uh, So, uh, uh, we recap on where you were. So, you had just entered an ice cavern filled with mushrooms, fungus, growing myconids, uh, animate creatures that were being hacked to pieces by your boss and now former boss Nargath and they were speaking into your brain screaming in pain telling you that they, that they were being hurt and you decided to side with the mushrooms and take out Nargath and his uh, henchmen and we ended with one of the mushrooms leaning over the split open corpse that was torn open by Sin and it was sprinkling its spores inside and tiny little mushrooms began to form and start budding and growing and moving themselves and kind of dancing in the kind of arctic breeze that flowed through the cavern and the uh, dust and spores kind of drifting with it magically. You took in your surroundings a bit better after this first encounter and saw that the cave was full of these creatures perched on ledges and kind of going about what soon looks to you to be sort of village-like business, like tending to the young, cleaning, cook and growing things and planting things and taking care of the smaller fungonoids that are uh, running about and um, trying to cause mischief around the place. And they offered you a place to stay, speaking to your mind. We know little of your flesh. We have seen you before and we know what you may require. So they um, provide you with um, a, uh, an, um, an area where there are less of the of of the creatures so that you're not breathing in so much of their um their spore that's up in the air um and they find you some things that they think would make you comfortable so they bring you the caps of some of the non-living funguses and they place them as sort of pillows for you to sit upon uh these are ones that they that aren't um living ones thank you baby um uh, and they um, start. So you're, te- you're not telling us we're we're sleeping on their dead. Not their As, dead. We're, these we're ones not were sleeping li- on their dead. These were living ones. <laughs> no. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was my reaction as well. <laughs> That's all I had. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'll you doing for a second. So. <laughs> Uh, they then gather um, some of the older ones, some of the dead. They bring into the centre of this circle that they've created, this kind of dry, barky stalks of um, fungus and build you what looks to be the beginnings of a fire. But they don't have any source of flame to ignite it. They don't have fire. I got it. So you... And it ignites and this uh, sort of very um, earthy aroma begins to fill the space where you are and it's a relaxing sort of smoke that comes up from the fire Um, and uh, they pretty much leave you alone and let you rest and you recuperate around this fire 
Um, uh, do you want and uh, digging into some of the ration supplies that you have after your uh, encounter with Nargith? As you're sitting there, some of the smaller ones become more curious and start walking from the cave and kind of running closer to the fire in their sort of stumpy little feet way and then backing away and hiding behind some of the stalagmites and stalactites that are uh, stalagmites that are coming up from the floor um and then they kind of you can see them sort of turning to each other and they're obviously communicating this psychic way but not connecting to you they're having these little conversations and they almost look like they're giggling, then running forwards and then running away. And then you notice the rest of the cavern is your area is lit by this new wood, heavy wood uh, smoke fire. And um, you notice that the rest of the cavern, there is some natural light that filters down through the ice, but there is a glow, a phosphorus glow, uh, almost matching the same kind of blue green from the light above, but reflected in these and the mushrooms themselves, some of them actually glow and light up the space and create strange stark shadows across the areas. And as the fire is now brighter than the rest of it, you kind of just see these looming shapes just of the mushrooms kind of quietly going about their business. And it's almost deadly, it's, it's so quiet because there are no voices in this. There's just the gentle shuffle of them moving across the ice. Their mushroom bodies just sliding gently, placing things, going about a business um, in a village-like way. Uh, so you rest. Nyala is gonna, yeah. Nyala is gonna is gonna like seeing its dead sire, and she's like, should should we re whispering? Because I think this guy. Kind of I mean, I don't quite know what their, um, I don't quite know what their, um, game is, whether they're genuinely helping us or whether they're, like, waiting to kill us in our sleep, so perhaps we should keep it on, like, on the down low for a little bit. Yeah, for one, you have good ideas. So for once. Me, so you're telling me it's too late to commit genocide. Why? Uh, real quick, I wanted like to say like before they take us away, because I was still in bear form in our last session. I wanted to go hunt that guy down and bring him back. I think he's gone away by now. Uh, yeah. Which yeah, concerns yeah. me. You saw, you heard his footprints, uh, his footsteps uh, coming off into the chamber, but. Um, you saw the end of the chamber where he ran. A swarm of these myconid bodies moved that way, down towards the end of this long chasm that you're this kind of yeah, chamber that you're in. Okay. They got him. They could deal with him. All right. So, um, where do we go from here? Is the question I have. I don't Be know. Because we're still currently under all this ice. We're pro probably about two days away from... Um, the Kanzaks. That place. Um, where... How... What's going on? What are, what are we going to do now? Well, we can have to go... We can go back. Yeah, but where... I beg my pardon. I don't think any of us know exactly where we are or which no. way to go. Maybe. And going outside, it's such lizardous conditions. Mm. We we'll get lost and probably end up freezing to death before we find any other civilization without proper direction. I was hoping yeah, to sure. catch that other henchman because he probably has done this route a few times. But um, hmm. I think our friends have probably taken care of him. It probably wouldn't be too far wrong to, to assume that. My guess... These... If I had to guess... If maybe 
since it is a time and how um, did you remember the woman the the woman dwarf? It was a woman, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. as that was the one that was on the support there. Um she was not so much covered in snow. And from the book of what we saw, um I think maybe we'll halfway through the distance. But that's only my guess and my observation. Time wise time wise that makes sense, but and she wasn't we, coming from the way that we, that we went. If she you, came. If you look at your the map that I sent, guys, um, uh, the um, the narwhal's tusk is on the uh, western corner of the lake. You saw her traveling from the west. Okay. <laughs> okay, so she was coming that way. So she would have traveled. Oh. She would have traveled, but the opposite. She's she's traveling in the same direction, east to west, but she was coming from the far side of the lake or on the lake mm. itself. And you're heading into the snow rather than the lake. You know that, all of you, because you've looked at that. Mm. So, so we're we... in these underground caverns, right? Mm. Now, I haven't tried speaking to these... I don't even know what to call them, fungi, um, since sure. our encounter. However, maybe these caverns go a lot further than we think. Maybe there's a way that we can get closer to our destination without even going to the top side. Yeah, uh, we should prob probably stay um, in. Uh, the thing is, who to talk? So at I'm... that moment, you say who to talk. The one that um, you supplicated yourself before, Mara, you sort of spread yourself and dropped your weaponry, um, approaches, you recognises the dappling pattern upon its large cap, and it, it kind of bows its head and releases some of the spores towards you. Mm. Um, um, and I'm not breathing they, it. They... Okay, uh, and they come to you, Morok, and you, um, they kind of dust your, the fur and catch, and you gradually breathe some in, and slowly the voice again seeps into your mind, and you start hearing him talking. You wish to speak? You wish to commune? Yes. We... Yes, what? We were wondering... If you knew a path <laughs> to the city. Are you doing this through your thoughts yeah. or are you saying it out loud? Um, I mean, I'll try it through through my thoughts. If he hears me through my thoughts, great. If not, I'll speak it. He's He nod, He kind of nods his head. And the other guys, you guys can see this interaction between Mororuk and this giant mushroom like going on. And it's like they understand each other. I just, I just pull uh, Zing and and Van um, um, top and and whisper. What are they saying? Are they plotting to kill us three? I don't know, Think? but I'm seriously doubting my choices to becoming a vegetarian now. <laughs> Um, um, you won't eat any. You won't eat anything if you think like that. Um, Let's and just see what happens. The voice continues in your head, Morok, um, and says, "You wish to to know is divine. To know and to travel. You must speak to the elder one." And he where? has the answers you seek, what? possibly. Where can I find this elder one? He, he bows his head and um, along the floor, um, very tiny uh, red glowing mushrooms appear and light up. And he kind of mm -hmm. casts one of his 
mushroom arm stumps towards it and they light a path along the floor and follow a trail and just says follow the path you guys see um this mushroom gesture to his left and these little boop, 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 little red lights kind of appear along the floor to guide you away i'm gonna kind of just like bow to him and just thank you for everything that you've done for us I will go and speak to the Elderman, whether that is with my friends or on my own. I, I will discuss with them. Very but well. Thank and you. He kind of, but he kind of then scoops up a little mushroom child that's kind of running near, too near the fire, and he kind of walks away with the the little mushroom child. Yeah. You know, just grab him and just shake him like this and say, "What did it say? What is it? Respawn, damn it!" <laughs> <laughs> he said that we can find the answers that we seek potentially by speaking to the Elderman. If you wish to come, by all means come with me. If you wish for me to go alone, then so be it. But no, it will, we're not going alone. It will probably encounter more spores. Is this oh, Elderman another mushroom? He didn't say. He simply said, speak to, with the Alderman. Right. I think it's kind of mushroom-like I'm, people, so... I'm probably going to assume it will be a mushroom, because everyone else here is a mushroom. Yeah. Or some sort of fungus. I've just given up trying to understand things anymore. Um, well, they haven't killed us yet, so I presume there's a reason that they're keeping us alive. One would hope so. Yeah. It's out of the fact that we prevented so tell them me what from you're being doing. up. Tell me where you're going and yeah. moving to. I'm going to follow the red path. Same here. I'm going to follow red, yeah. Narden? It's unanimous then. <laughs> so that's the order. So Warwick, Yala, Sin, Arden, travelling down the path, hmm. uh, walking along this little line. And the ones that you've walked past go out and... Um, the ones in front of you still glow and kind of emerge and light up as you're walking towards them. So your path is lit with this eerie red glow along the path as you travel. But the rest of it's mostly in darkness, apart from the blue light that comes down from above, just lighting the cavern slightly. Um, and you can always hear this kind of shuffling of and like a slight squeaking as the mushroom bodies move beside you and... Every now and then you'll see a little scuffle of the creatures run um, away from the path where you're walking or you'll catch some in the middle of the path and they'll be lit up in the light and then scuttle into the darkness to move away from the the, the glowing lights. Um, uh, make a wisdom check, um, uh, Morok. Um... That's a seven. Seven. You haven't figured out how um, this works. Um, okay, so uh, Niala, you make a wisdom check. Um, bum, 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 bum. Just let the TND be, be on charge. Maybe nature, if you're better at nature if you want to. You could have done your nature bonus, Morok, if you've got nature. nature exactly the same. Nature. Okay. Um, you told me a wisdom of nature is the same, so I'll go for nature. Okay. Okay. That doesn't sound good. This is this is my first and ever night one. Okay. <laughs> you know absolutely nothing about these creatures and the space that you're within. You are um, feeling completely out of your depth. This is something you know nothing of, and it's making you feel very uh, nervous. Your body's slightly shaking um, through the nerves that are in your your body. So your next uh, roll 
whichever it may be, is at disadvantage. Oh. Okay. So, um, okay. you carry on following this path, um, and you come across, and uh, they kind of you walk along. They've been in a straight line up until then. Then they open up into a ring, and this ring pulses with a red light, and you see a crumpled heap in the middle of this this space. It's about, the ring's probably about 40, fi 40 feet in diameter and uh, it sits in the centre, so 15 feet. Okay. Can I, um, I see what this crumpled heap is, what it looks like, what it... Um, uh, you uh, make a perception check, I guess, with that. It is a 17. You see what seems to be twisted roots. Twisted gnarled roots. That at the moment are inanimate. I guess I'm going to kind of just go up to maybe not, not quite like right next to it, but like ju just inside the ring and just kind of just kneel on like one knee just to kind of like show respect and be like if this is the alderman don't really don't really want to tick him off and the rest of you i just look at it completely lost and just <laughs> what are we doing <laughs> what i'll do is i'll get you you can see that our, our fur is a bit um She's a uh, her fur is a bit uh, yeah static like bit, when cats get all like yeah, fancy. She's a bit poofed and uh, and she's just looking around and looking at you to have a reference and just kinda is lost. Mm -hmm. Sin, what were you saying? Uh what I'll do is get beside Rut, but and like instead of kneeling down, I'm gonna like lay flat on my stomach. And yeah. I slowly um, stretch out my hands so I could like, poke it. So you're trying to poke the thing in the middle? Yeah. You're lying flat on your belly and you're poking it. <laughs> so you're yeah. right. Of all the reactions. This is only going to go well. <laughs> you're absolutely, you're, you're, so you count yourself as prone because you're on your stomach. Um, you reach out and as your hand slides towards, um, from all four compass points uh like from the compass points more lights of these mushrooms suddenly glow up and this thing rises up and sort of swells and these gnarled twisted roots of inflate look like they're filling with liquid and pumping with um vital essence and this thing kind of inflates up to its full height and it is a mushroom of ginormous size. Its cap red and swollen with white spots, dripping with this um, the dust of the uh, um, the spores, and dripping with this kind of like cave moisture. And it kind of runs down the side of it majestically, and it rains down, and uh, the light is refracted in all these little red droplets as they fall down to the ground around you so it's like a red glistening rain falling from the cap of this huge mushroom and again the spores fall um can you all make con checks apart from Morok? uh so my i'm at this um... uh can't con, con okay. save it, 17 again The role of the film. Yeah, got a ten. Ten. Then. Oh, I got a fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. So, Sin and Arden don't hear this. Yala and Moruk hear. Welcome, my friend. It would seem that you are at some sort of impasse, some sort of crossroads in your life, both 
mentally and physically. The choices you make now will forever shape your destiny. What you choose has no bearing in morality, no right or wrong. They do not exist. The universe is immoral. You only have a perceived choice of direction in flow. This draws into the question, the idea of free will. Do you control and shape what happens or was it all set in motion from a finite start of all things? And that everything that has brought us here unto this moment is just an action and reaction, equal and opposites. What do you think back? I'm sorry, did I hear this or not? You didn't hear this. So Sin and Van Arden, you seem to okay. not have read the spores in. But oh, you, yeah. see, you see the looks upon Morak's face and uh, Niala's face like change as they hear this weaseling voice in their mind. I'm going to say, like, I presume that you are the Alderman. If, if that is correct, we have been sent by... Didn't quite get his name, but the leader of the settlement back there. We we saved him and and his kin from a murderer most foul, and we were sent to see you as we are unsure of where where we are to go. He uh, he said to me that you would have answers for us. Um, yeah, just is just raising her hand. It just saying hi very awkwardly are you airing this like i do i'm just gonna kind of just like look at her and just be like yes i hear this what is this voice i can't laugh but i want to just just, just remain calm trust trust me so the voice greets me greetings you are most welcome here we are all to Minchar. One circle repeating over and over. Now you, at this impasse, you could face the surface, but with a, without a sled or a mode of transport, and it being the season for ice storms, I'm sure you would make it, but the journey well, I say I'm sure, I'm unsure. If you did make begin the journey, it would be slow and perilous, and you will most likely become a frozen snack for some sort of predator. There are also Great. tunnels and ways that go deep here, far under the ice to rocky places. When you delve that deep, the denzins that dwell in those places may not have had fresh meat or meat of your kind for a long time. That being said, there are other ways to travel. The flesh you inhabit is just elements. The spirit and mind exist far beyond that sack of skin that you call and bone that you choose to call yourself. Or of course, you're most welcome to stay here and join with Tamincha, become the colony. We would care for you and your parts would eventually become mulch and your elements would merge with ours, creating new strains, new family to continue with cycling until we end our days in this form and become now the energies freed from the corporeal. Sim, is it just me or is this silence getting awkward? I'm... Yeah, it's, it's getting pretty awkward. Like, guys, guys, guys. Um, should I poke it again? No, no, no. i no. poke it again. I'll poke it. I'll poke it. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to grab grab his hand and just not. Like, okay, don't. so uh, dexterity then for you, Morak, and uh, Sin, like a, and a contest. I feel like I orchestrated that. <laughs> 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 well, why am I wrong? 
Um, uh, 15? 20. Okay, you manage to like grab his hand and knock it back quickly before <laughs> he touches the flesh of the of, uh, Timin Chan. Yella is just like, she just <laughs> bap, bap her behind the head and she just say, they could kill us for food, so stop. <laughs> and she just like turn to uh, to Van and Sin and just gather her near her and say, so. There are multiple ways to go out, but one on the first one, we go out and we froze to death. Two, we go in the tunnels and we might die from starvation. And three, it, it says something about mind traveling, but we have to abandoned or brody behind so i don't know what to deal with all of this but i'm I, i'm 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 keeping my body okay i'm okay i'm keeping on a my number heart. on one to ten how high do you feel right now <laughs> <laughs> because i'm sorry we're standing in a <laughs> cave one. and you two <laughs> are the huffing mushroom spores and you expect me to believe there's some kind of <laughs> magical? It's not me. Well, I have to agree with Arden there. Right. We don't hear anything. It's Arden not my fault. You guys are like so few open-minded. Yes, and, and the last and time I huffed a bunch of those spores, I fell unconscious. So forgive me for being yeah, skeptical. Yeah, and I have to fix the master. Yeah, well, go so. breathe. Go breathe that, that spores because actually I think that's make us hear them. Right. Moruk tells them. Moruk tells them. I just Yes. What they're just mm -hmm. dense as fuck. What what my uh, little feline friend has said is, is is the truth. We have three options basically. We can either freeze to freeze death. Freeze to death, starve to death, or become a mushroom. Freeze to death. Great. Take our chances in the tunnels, which to me is the most appealing option, or become mushroom. I know for a fact that none of you want to become a mushroom. No. no. There's four options. There were the four options. There was a fourth option. Ice. Tunnel. Travel. Or become part of the colony. Oh yeah, there, there was a fourth way to travel, a, lot of, a different way to travel, but they didn't say what it was. Was that the one that you just mentioned? Like, I'm guessing it's some kind of astral projection kind of thing, but through a mushroom network. Yeah. I have no. I. I. I don't. Um. Anyway, sorry. Back in character. <laughs> uh. Um. I. Yes. We have those. I four, think four I would rather take my chances with the tunnels. I. Brave the snow. I would and I'm agree with sorry, that. I'm not willing yeah, to yeah, take. Yeah. Me too. These mushrooms in faith. Shall I commune with this elderman? Yes, please. Yes, <laughs> as you wish. Kind of like I don't. I don't want to talk to this thing, or I'm gonna laugh if I hear its voice. Yes, that's a that's mapped fine. route through these tunnels would be useful. That would be very, very good, even if it is just Maybe. imprinted on my brain. So yeah, I'm gonna kind of turn back to the to the the giant fungus mushroom and be like, "Can you help us to navigate these tunnels to bring us to to one of our civilizations?" We know only the way out. We have not left these caves for hundreds of years. You you know the way out through the tunnels. Out of this, our colony. I mean, it, it's it's better than nothing. Um, do you know what happens to dwell in, in these to cut in these tunnels at all? Dark things. Dark things. Excellent. Things um, of fire. You you mentioned the other way to travel. What does that entail exactly? Your mortal flesh is just that, a bag of flesh. You exist 
in a higher realm, a space in between spaces, not attached to this flesh, only for a temporary while. Imagine you are a receiver, this body that tunes into the ever pervasive stream of consciousness. We can allow you to traverse that and then components can be found to bring you back in another place within the material realm exactly as you appear now exactly as i appear there are ways okay i'm going to turn turn back to the other three so we can either go tunnels of fire tunnels of fire things or um basically teleport more or less they said that um, they can take us through a higher plane than the material plane, like the astral plane or something, um, and then bring us to another place with uh, a new body exactly as we are. you heard of these ways of transport? I've not. I'm completely uh, like oblivious to this. It's dangerous, Norman. It, it if, certainly sounds it. If we were to travel this way, if our bodies were in any way harmed, we would not come out the other side. Yes, I... Um, maybe we can do something like this. So, <clears throat> half, half of us teleport once he also guards the body and when the other pass through the other side, they guard the rest. How? Oh, well, their, their bodies would not come through until their astral side has. I don't know. It makes things safe on the other side. Because so here, that, it's pretty half of safe. Our isn't protected. I don't trust them. I would be okay with you three going ahead and then me following suit. I would protect your bodies until I was sure that you were through to the other side quickly, safely. I don't trust you, so I'm staying here with you. That's that's it, if we go that route, or we could go into Is the there anything I can deduce from what he's told me that they've said? about this kind of transportation that would match my studies of astral projection. Go for a history, ma'am. Um, Religion. It's a natural 19. Natural 19. Okay, so Ooh. you come up with, um, if you think back through your training uh, as a monk and the texts and scrolls that you've read through throughout that that arduous process to become the level of martial prowess, prowess that you have now. You know that there are many realms that exist are separate from this plane and they can be traversed through gates and through projections and through many different ways of getting in and out. But there is risk within those planes as damage to one's mind impacts damage to the body. Got our very own matrix here. Um, <laughs> right. <sighs> it does have its risks. Mm. Any kind of astral realm is dangerous. But they are the... also inhabited by creatures and spirits, if you would. Mm. However, I like to think I know what we would face in our realm. I have no idea what we would have to face in another realm. If the way is to be shown 
safely and clearly through this realm, then it might be worth the risk. However, if it is a path untraversed by these creatures through this realm, I would rather take my chances in the tunnels. Sin? I like disagree with you because if we separate this is not going to go well for neither you or us very powerful things in other realms powerful things in this realm exactly we don't know how deep these tunnels go they could potentially have go as deep as to old ancient things we don't know well Make neither a, neither this way is Morak. sunshine and rainbows. Wisdom check on Morok. Just straight straight wisdom. Yeah, straight wisdom. That is a 17. You, in the back of your mind, you think how deep that the tunnels could go. Mm. And you think about the shape of the planet of Earl with its half side in darkness and blackness and only the image of the molten lake the far side that kind of rushes into your mind as your as your as your when you say the word deep mm. that comes to your mind like almost deep means through and out mm. Sin, what do you think well, I don't, like you said, I don't like the idea of going to the astral plane that you guys were talking about since I never had any experience dealing with that before. And I prefer taking the chances with, um, with the tunnel because at least I know I could defend myself in there. Hmm. I say we vote on it. Okay, do a vote. So, those in, um, those in favour of, of staying in this realm and going through the tunnels, say aye. Aye. Yeah. Yala? Would you prefer I'm to go? I'm not convinced. Not convinced. I'm okay. not convinced. Both That's of those vote. options. You have to make a decision. Mm. Both of those are really dangerous. Yes. Neither we end up in the dark with fire, neither we get in an astral plane that may separate our bodies. What do you suggest? Uh, I personally suggest... The voice that creeps into Niala's head uh, again and says, or you could stay with us and become mulch. I'm sorry, I like my body. I would like to go. Tunnels? Tunnels it is then. Tunnels. Get away. Tunnels. It's three to one. I will I will ask for the guidance. Kind of just turn back and just kind of kneel, kneel down again. Mm -hmm. We we have decided that we will be traversing the tunnels. So um any advice, guidance that you can provide for us would be greatly appreciated and then we will be on our way. Very well. And it bends down sort of to its right. It's This one doesn't seem to be able to move from its, its spot in this sort of hmm. lighted circle and as it moves from the cap of it cascades um, some uh, water that was trapped in this place and um, falls to the floor and it um, as those little flecks of red light splash down to the ground and are illuminated by the glowing mushrooms, it reaches down into the darkness and comes away in its kind of uh, sh uh, amorphous, ha like what would be a hand, and reaches towards you and lays in front of you three mushroom caps. And it says... Um, uh, sorry, uh, four mushroom caps, and says, these will take you 
for a time there, away to the place I spoke of of the mind. Okay. But I will point you the way. I will light your path. So you collect uh, four mushroom caps, mm-hmm. and they're now in your inventory, Morak. Um, and the lights to the um, as you're looking at the creature to the right, mm-hmm. another set of these little mushroom lights start springing up and coming into life, and you see the um, the giant mushrooms start to shrink back down. And you see the moisture and vital fluids drain from it, and it turns dark, black, woody color, and eventually forms back into this kind of jumble of roots and is still and solid, and just the path ahead of you is lit, and the lights of the circle begin to dim. Well, um, turn, turn back to the other three. Have these if we change our mind. Just kind of just put them either in like a backpack or like my pocket or something. Put them away. Mm-hmm. But oh, what are they? They are if we choose the astral plane. Just in case. Uh, the, so, word, the words ring in your head halfway there. Halfway there. <laughs> okay. So it's a get out of jail free card. Potentially. But as for as for now, it it would appear we have our he- have our heading heading have our heading. I cannot speak today. I, I just kind of just points to the way that the mushroom pointed. Well, I guess we should head off. I can't expect that these mushrooms have much else that they can give us. No. It's not like they're gonna have. Are we? Are we ready? Mm. Well, <laughs> as ready as we'll ever be. Yep. Okay. So you. This, this was. Is is is. Was it a reference? Hmm? Was it a reference to a song? Song. Mm. <laughs> ready as we're ever gonna we're ever gonna be. No, it's just a saying. It's just a saying. Probably been in a song. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like know, an Aerosmith song. Yeah. <laughs> so you. Like, 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 like his top register. Like, ready as a lava baby. Yeah, like that. Like that. <laughs> so you, you follow the start light. Like, follow the. Probably a good thing we don't have Bard in this crew. <laughs> yeah. He's learning songs from like my. If we're going to have a Bard, this, this would have been me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! But I play I play bard all the time on my other PC, so I didn't want to do it again. <laughs> so you um you proceed <laughs> along this mushroom path, and um it's still all ice and uh, ice and ice floor with um a few rocky outcrops that are again bound in um freezing cold i uh, freeze uh, freezing water and ice. Puddles, the floor um, where he directs you, and you follow this path that weaves through stagnant lights, um, and um, you eventually reach the end of the lit path. And there is a, a kind of on the floor near enough a break in the ice, and there you, for the first time, see a significant amount of. Uh, dark rock um, and a hole that goes sort of uh, down from where you're standing. Are we still all okay? I just lay my hand on the rock to see if it feels any warmer than um, the it ice. Feels, it which feels... I presume it would do. It's rock. <laughs> but, um... it, it, isn't, it isn't wet like ice is. <laughs> <laughs> Was, what, well, I don't know where my brain was going with that. I don't know. <laughs> you Ice are... is obviously colder than rock. It's the uh, sticky pole all over again. Just... Guys, why am, I the only, why am I the only girl? 
Um, so, you know, so mushroom so, brain. Let's go. just carry on. <laughs> so you drop down in the in the thing. Mm. Yep. Okay. So um, there are like craggy shaly ledges, and you shuffle yourselves um, down into this um, tunnel. Um, ahead of you it is um, large formations of rock either side so this is hard compressed rock this is um, um, metamorphic this isn't um, sediment rock you know you're deep now wherever you are um, just by the general layout and the shape of these forms around you um, you now only have the light coming from the mushroom lit cavern above that was the last speck and you just duck as far as you can see into this tunnel is everybody okay for vision can everybody see yeah i'm okay in the dark i'm good yeah i have dark vision too one two three <laughs> valarden i take out a torch <laughs> i'm laying it out for him <laughs> cool um the tunnel lights ahead of you um, you can Three of us about, have <laughs> You can see about ten feet ahead, Van Arden. You rest. You guys see a passage that just goes down into darkness. Again, sort of with a slight incline. Just keep keep following this passage keep, until we find something. I guess. It, I don't know until it opens up. Or yeah. Okay, roll a perception uh, check. Cool. Everyone? Everyone. Yeah, that cool. is a 19. Uh, perception, perception. What's my perception? Got a dirty 20, 17 plus 3. Yeah. What was that, Niala? That was a sad sound. Wait, you tell me. I think I, I got the wrong dice. Perception, please. Uh, yeah, I I made performance, <laughs> so I have a fifteen. Okay, you all. Uh, what was your sin again? Sorry, go again. Twenty-six. Uh, six. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Oh yeah, blinded. Okay. <laughs> So, yeah, that is some scene. Damn, that's oh, a good that, perception. Oh, oh damn! There is. This and I rolled a twenty. Now it's like, oh shit. So he's got. <laughs> you got a natural twenty. Great. So, so you a, a smell comes to you, Sin, and you uh, all of you. You smell it, but Sin knows immediately what this smell is. It is a smell of sulfur. Oh shit! Oh no. Well, there's no turning back now. Um, yep. I'm just going to say this as a as a feline. Yeah. I would just melt this and it smells like and just say, okay, why does it smell like eggs? Wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> if it, um, if it was me, you'd this? be dead. Uh, who did this? No, that was a reference. Moruk. <laughs> Moruk. Did you did this? If it, I'm if sure you did dead. this. You did this. No. Didn't you? I told you, if it was me, you'd be dead. Um, make a... Um, uh, insight check, Niala, to see if you <laughs> think that Moruk is the culprit. <laughs> <laughs> If you get this pinned on you, that's hilarious. <laughs> Is that? I got it. Twenty-two. <laughs> you definitely oh. think Moro yeah. did it. <laughs> Is that because... well, hold on, no. Wouldn't a good role mean that she can tell that he's telling the truth that well, it yeah. wasn't him? No, it means she trusts. A bad role, she would think it was him. 
we trust her insight. Oh, he's obviously lying. <laughs> her, her insight was that he did it, so <laughs> she believes her, <laughs> her insight. I'm pretty sure it's not her insight. Like, I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to affirm my own suspicions. Yes, that's like... uh, so Okay, well, I'm going to go with it because so, it's right, hilarious. Yeah, so but cool. Whether he's telling the truth or not. Yeah, so he was, yeah, he was, he was telling the truth. So we believe he didn't. Go on. Cool. I'm more than happy for it to go that way anyway, because I think it's hilarious. You don't, think, him. It, you don't think it was Morok anyway. So. Was it the Shrek reference? Was it just... Um, so you proceed I'm further starting. down the tunnel and you come to a crossroads. Um, just a tunnel left, a tunnel right, and Sin, with your your roll of nat 20... Real quick, before um, we continue heading down, I... Um, turn off Arden's torch. Uh, probably a good idea. Yeah, because right. it's extremely flammable. Okay. So, um, wow. you get to this uh, crossroads, and how I are you guiding Arden? I just grab me Arden's tail. <laughs> 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 It's dark. What the hell else am I supposed to do? Are you sure it's a tail? Um, get to this point. Can uh, I oops. slap him? Can I bitch slap him? Yeah, okay. Roll a d4 and um, some damage. Can I, can, do I not get a chance to dodge it at least? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's in darkness. You can't yeah, see it. Yeah, go for a, like, a, a, an unarmed hit then. An unarmed strike? Yeah, yeah. It's dark. Uh, but I can't see anything. I, then she I gets it at an advantage. Because <laughs> it's dark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you oh, yeah. I'm just okay. like... You can see him perfectly. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's so close. You can slap can, him I, can I roll with an advantage? Yeah. Yeah. I can see in the dark. I, I, I'd say so, because I'm just... <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> 21. <laughs> What's that? One plus your strength modifier, is it? No, because she's a she's a she's Axie, so she's got claws. Oh, so it's if she gets an arm strike. One plus is it D four for Tabaxi? I think yeah. So yeah. The, well, hold on. Are you are you hitting me with claws out, or are you just giving me a slap? <laughs> Please say it's not with <laughs> Guys, roll me a d4 if I do it with clothes or not. So, I got a two. I got a four. Oh, God. Uh, one sec. D4, yeah? Four, two. <laughs> I got a four. Four, eight. I don't know whether that's good or not. <laughs> on the four, I I do get my clothes out. Oh, on, a, on a two, though, it's only as a bitch slap. Well, well there's been two fours already, two, so I'm, two I'm, two has got four. getting a, I'm, I'm getting claws. Right, it's going to sting. I'm, yeah, I'm going to say it to you on my damage for clothes that, that I rolled. I got a two. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pitch slap you and hit you with my core staff in the guts. Okay. <laughs> she gets two attacks. Once. <laughs> this was the you deal. Touch, you touch the tail of a lady, sir. <laughs> it's a fine lady. Killing each but, other in the tunnel. <laughs> To take the damage and shut my mouth before I get hit anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so you come to this um, this crossroads in the dark with Van Arden just kind of listening to your footsteps. I'm we still haven't defined how I'm carrying being guided. I'm still walking blindly. Here. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to pick I've you up. Slapped up a bit. <laughs> I'm just going to pick you up and sit sit you on my shoulder. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the roof is as slap, I, and okay. as a uh, make a dex, Morok. Just a de um, yeah, dex check. Seventeen. Okay, you managed to pick him up without smashing Van Arden's head into the roof of the cavern. 
Damn it. I feel really emasculated right now. <laughs> um, you're kind of crouching down with your hands up, trying to protect your head from anything that might <laughs> be above you, as these guys seem like absolutely like breeze through this tunnel and get this, um, this crossroads, the left and the right in front of you. Uh, Sin, with your perception that you made earlier, um, you have kind of been tracking that smell of uh, sulfurous gas. And you can tell that has been streaming up, uh, streaming from the, the, the left-hand cavern. Um, and the right-hand cavern doesn't appear to have uh, any of that scent coming from it. It's, it's more strong in that area. It's permeated the whole space, but you can sort of feel it coming from the from the left passageway. Please cue a Lord of the Rings reference right here. <laughs> no. Move <laughs> your nose. <laughs> so uh, which, which so way only do Sin we want knows to go? this, yeah. Which way right. do we want to go? Right, because as far as I know, Rook is the one that was given somewhat of a direction and where to go. So I just turn oh, all the like, uh, you turn the left side, right? That has the smell. Yeah, the left is the tunnel with the smell. Yeah, I, I tell Rook that on the left side. Can they smell it too? Or is it like the the smell is permeating the whole space, so there's a smell of sulfur, but with your high perception of it earlier on, you can smell that the direction of it's flowing up from that way. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So yeah, um, can I can I roll can I roll for perception? Perception, perception yes. two for the smell. Yeah, push again. Yeah. Uh, well, I tell Rook that the sulfuric gas is coming from the left side of the, or from the left, from the left side basically, and that as far as I know, the right side is like perfectly fine. So, so I rolled an eleven. Eleven, you, um, your scent is quite confused, but you are, um, as you turn your he your feline head that way, you mm -hmm. you pick up a stronger sense of that way, and also the soft tip of your nose feels uh, uh, a little bit of heat from that way, like slightly warmer, like because your bare feet are on the ground as well you can sort of feel a change as you move to that side of the tunnel, but ever so slight. I think um, her eyes just go wider and she grabs the nearest person she, uh, she has and she's like, there is a volcano. There is a volcano right under here. You grab people, but... <laughs> oh, fuck you, okay? Shut up. <laughs> I'm d it's there is a volcano under here. Anyway, which way do we want to go? Towards the smell or away from the smell? Away from the smell. You don't want to end up in a volcano, I tell you. Away for sure. I want to go towards, but it's probably not the safest. <laughs> <laughs> away. So, are we saying away? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think so. Excellent. So you're going away from the smell. You can take the right-hand tunnel. Yeah. It would. Yes. It would. It. It would seem so. Okay. So you proceed along the tunnel, and as you um, you head to the right, the passage makes a very, very sharp. Uh, uh, you go into the right. It makes a sharp left, and then a sharp right. Mm -hmm. You can see that there is a sharp right-hand turn in front of you now. It's almost like something just broke at this place. Hmm. Mm. I don't trust it. Make a nature check, Niala. A what? Nature. Uh, well, do we smell the, the sulfur in the in the air, or that like completely that, gone? Now? That that sound that smell is dissipating in this tunnel. Right. So what's for like completely? I got it. Anymore? I'd like to turn on Arden's torch again. 
Okay, cool, no problem. That's lit. Sorry, what did you get in the other? I got a 10, guys. A 10. So you look at the structure, you think it is mostly natural, but that something might have shifted like you suspected. Yeah. But that could have been an ice piece of movement. Yeah. To create such a sharp angle. Onwards, I'm assuming. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. you move around this corner and and the, the the tunnel straightens out at this point and rises up slightly and you see um a slight uh your dark vision becomes slightly clearer and you can see some form of uh, some sort of light ahead the tunnel kind of goes up at a curvature in front of you still very narrow but you can see like a little bit of light coming down well it would appear that we are hopefully almost at the end of this foul place I don't think so. Maybe this is a trap. Well, I don't trust it. It may be, but at the same time, it may not be. Where else have we got to go? Well, exactly. You it's shut up. Me. You don't touch me. You don't see me. You don't talk to me anymore. <laughs> well, I told you. <laughs> um, you proceed up? Yep. I'm assuming so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... Wait, before I check for traps. Okay, make a perception then. <laughs> Second, not one. As your... There wasn't a trap, but there is now. <laughs> <laughs> As you're feeling around the walls and just looking for traps, um, you run your hand along a seam and you slice your paw open and you take you take three damage as as, as, a, <laughs> as a as a seam of razor sharp quartz cut your paw asunder. As you were feeding for traps, but you know, you there is appears so far nothing ahead of you, just icy, uh, rocky tunnel. Keep on moving up, I'm assuming. Cool. Uh, and and y'all is just like, Ow. okay, <laughs> no trap, <trying>, but <laughs> so, be careful with the edges. Um, you proceed up, and the light is the same sort of light you realise that you saw filtering through the ice in the cave, that kind of bluish, whitish hue, but kind of refracted many times um, through prisms. You come up, and as you come up, you see a ceiling of um, ice that is like a multi jeweled diamond so many layers and reflections of yourselves almost completely glass like uh, like prism like and you see all of your faces emerge from this dark hole into this space and there are hundreds of you reflected in this roof and then it comes round and the walls become smooth and drops down, 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 down into darkness. And out of this darkness are shafts of ice with platforms like of ice in between um, that cross this chasm that has formed. Um, and the top are these kind of pinnacles of ice that come out of a depth unknowable below you. Yes, and you see the other another side, way. another similar tunnel that you've come out of, the kind of bores back down under the ice shelf, it looks. Again, you can see that kind of 
area of rock that was so welcoming just a short time away from uh, coming out of the Myconid cave. Um, you see this uh, expanse in front of you. So how do we want to proceed? With caution. <laughs> Obviously. You know what? Since, um, well, I have a better form than uh, the rest of you, obviously. Excuse I'm, me. I'm a cat. <laughs> you see this obstacle? I'm the, I'm the best person to actually go there, see if it's safe, and maybe get a rope so you can uh, came across some that are just too far for you. Counterpoint. I feel like ours is the best one for this. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I have a different tactic, but go on. <laughs> <laughs> Counterpoint. Javelin, rope. Oh, yeah, that works. Work. Okay. I feel like we can make it across from platform to platform quite safely, but I think having one ropes for safety to make sure that nobody goes slipping off the edge is a much safer way than just all of us deciding to jump between each platform. Potentially, yes. Okay, so as you look out, there are five platforms out on this, above this chasm. They are staggered, sort of uh, one, two, three, four. And there is a fifth one off to the right almost next to the side of the chasm wall. This one doesn't appear to be completely smooth on the top. You can see that it looks different from the others. Can I can I make an investig in, uh, investigation check for to see? You'd have to get closer for that. Ah. To kind of be touching right. it. To kind of, yeah, search through mm -hmm. it. I if I take touch it, I might die. Take out a rope, I tie it around my waist, and I hand the one end to Morrook. Okay. How far does it look like there is between where we are now and the first platform? Uh, it's about uh, about 10 feet. Okay, I've got plenty of rope. Right. I suggest, Rook, you being the larger and probably the stronger of the group, you wait till, till last. I'm okay when with the that. three of us are across, you come over and we hold the rope to support you. No offence, you're a big mm -hmm. lad. Yep, I'm, I'm... Can I say something? Shotgun. <laughs> uh, you, you can by all means go first. As she says that, I just run. Because he's already got the rope <laughs> okay. in his hands and it's already tied around my waist. So I just, I just go. Okay, so uh, dex then for that. Dex acrobatics? Yeah, go on. You and um, him or me? Um, so Van, Van Arden, because he just ran before you could. <laughs> that's fourteen plus five, so that's a nineteen. Yeah, so you leap across the chasm and land on the first island. The rope is between you. Um, he and so you're standing there on the first platform. The other guys, the other side. Maruk's got the other end of the rope. Do you want to just go to the other side? No, because then how are you going to get across? We need enough leverage for us to hold the rope with you. If we go too far, then we won't yeah. be able to reach you with the rope. Um, no, because I, how, how, I'll have this rope. How far is it from one end to the other? Uh, you've got uh, so you've got probably it's about ten between each thing. Each platform is about uh, you estimate ten across, like as a circumference. If you're talking as a circle, obviously so there's the ten feet gap in between each platform, and each platform is about ten feet. Yeah. yeah. So about we're looking at about eighty feet. feet to the fifth platform. Well, I have um, rope as well. We could just tie it together. 40, yeah. 60. Are you looking at 30? Think... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, about 80. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, 
how long oh, is your break? Okay, yeah. Then we'll just go over one at a time. And yeah. then when all three of us are at the other end. Um, I'll, I'll tie my end around me and you hold it. Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. And pray I don't fall. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to jump to the to the next the next platform. And okay. as he's tied the rest of the ropes around between us, we should all have enough rope, right? Mm -hmm. So okay. um, I'm just so going to continue to jump I have platform ropes. to platform to get to... So you've got you've got yeah, decks again to get to the other side. It's another decks. Uh, uh, come on! Oh shit! <laughs> Luck was bound to run out at some point. Um, so that's a three plus five, so that's oh. eight. So you land on the platform, but this one is particularly slick on the top of it, and you slide. Um, make a um uh like a slight can i can i jump jump on the first one and jump, jump on the other one to grab him okay so make uh so you're gonna go like <laughs> a the rope's off. there to catch yeah, me if i do fall so that's, that's, that's the whole rope. rope i can pull myself back up if i fall <laughs> so you don't jump jump just yet okay so you, you're holding or you're going the other mm. i think in the action um in the action of seeing him sleep, I just I'm just going to uh, jump on the first one. Okay, so the deck then don't fall. <laughs> no. You. Uh, acrobatic, you told me. Yeah. Please throw well. <laughs> that's <sighs> that's a sixteen. <gasps> yeah. So you land on the first one, then your your feline claws grab into the ice, and you kind of have purchase on this first one. Um, um, and Arden, you continue sliding. Rope will be hanging off the edge as you the go, one. and you have kind of fallen to the far side with your momentum. You've fallen off the far side of this, um, the second platform. The um, second one. <laughs> so you've okay. jumped the first one, landed on the second one, slipped. Come off the far side of it, and now the rope yeah. is spooling. It's the ropes. Um, so make a strength check, Moruk. Uh, that is a nineteen. Okay, you managed to you brace yourself. Um, how far away from the edge were you? Um, maybe like ten foot away from the edge. Okay, you you slipped by about two feet, like towards the edge on that. On that on that tug on the rope, mm -hmm. as it was so sharp. Um, uh, Arden, you're hanging now from a rope uh, around your middle. Um, you see darkness below you. Can I just like like pull it so that it just it just pulls him back yeah. up? Okay, so you're, uh, and as you... he pulls, I'm going to try and start climbing up okay. even. Yeah. Help so you that. you pull yourself back onto the platform and. Um, Chips of ice uh, fall down into the dark chasm below. Um, make a <sighs> perception, Arden. Slippier than it looks. Uh, perception. Actually, wait. Sin, can you transform me into a, a bird, a howl, or something like that? No, that's a level eight thing. <laughs> okay. Because I was going that's to have an nine. idea. Oh, you guys are doing all of that. I have to be level eight for me to fly. That's a nineteen. A nineteen. Um, you hear the ice bang off the walls that you've chipped off. And you hear another sound. A slithering. A slithering. Yeah, like something. Like a snake. Something slid. Oh, okay. Oh, no. We need to move fast. Mm. Guys, there is something alive down there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fast and quietly. Mm. And I'm... Have you Have you got any rope on you? I do, I do have ropes. Okay. Rook, how strong are you feeling? Let's go. Yala, tie your end of your rope to the rope that's now taut across between me and Rook. 
So basically, he's holding one, but at one point, it's going to split up from where she attaches her rope. Mm-hmm. So now you're holding two of us. This is going to get strange. And if she's going to go across <laughs> the next five with perfect <laughs> rolls. Okay, so... Um, right, I'm going to continue okay, jumping so across. We're gonna, from this point, when you now found your footing on here, you can see mm. the odd one of these... Um, ice banks, uh, ice platforms uh, to the right um, and you can make out um, what appears to be like a boot underneath some of the the, the ice and snow that's there. Um, so Van, it looks like uh, Van, I think we what is might have to stay quiet. Bodies. I agree. And then I you want to make stealth checks, Sam, please? Okay. Let's make stealth checks. Oh, no. It's Baruch's big I have disadvantage on this. 21. Seventeen. It's a, group. it's a group. I think the next time I level up, I'm definitely going to take a level in that twenty. Um, rogue to try and get... One. Oh, oh, that's a one. one. Oh no, he got a one. Um, oh, we're not going anywhere. Still, hold on. Is this a group check or is this individual check? We got a one. My lowest was uh, fifteen. Oh, one fifteen. Arden. What was your Arden? Seventeen and fit and a yeah. twenty something. Twenty one. Okay, so yeah, you pass the okay. spell check. At the moment, you are okay. quiet. Um, and uh, <laughs> Sin, you are stumbling round for some reason <laughs> behind Mara, <Mahara, laughs> trying to get a better look into the pit. He's just standing still and managed to make noise. <laughs> when oh, when, when Arden warned you of... <laughs> when Arden warned you of that you need Sleepy. to be quiet, there's something alive down there, you actually tried to look round <laughs> Morrook's huge frame and look down <laughs> into the pit. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, and, yeah, right. you, um, you then yeah. heard the slithering also. Um, so it's, you're on the second platform, Arden. You can see this quiet. boot underneath some ice or snow. Um, a bit of a cape, maybe. Oh, just, on just, on just... my platform or... The... From the fifth platform, you've got one, two, three, four that almost go straight across, and you've got this one off to the right. Oh, the boot, the boot in the cape is on the fifth platform. The, the, the odd the platform right, to yeah. your right, yeah, that isn't kind of okay. The, but the that's traverse to your destination, and but that's the furthest one from me, right? Um, you've got uh, one, two, three, four that go across the chasm, yeah, then to your right. In the middle of number two and three. Oh, okay. Got so we don't need to go across to the off right. Off. Yeah, let me. Oh, hold on. I'm just trying. How to... how far is the jump then from that to that one then from where I am? Are they equi um, equidistant or is that yeah. one even further? Like, so you are. Uh, I see. This is one, two. This is no, where you want to go. This one is off to the side. It doesn't. It's against the wall of the cabin. But there's a boot and a cape there. I don't trust Damn it. DM tempting me with loot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> or it could be, you know, a trap. Wait. Just a dead I body from got, the snake. I still, got, I still got my fishes. I could use them to lure the creature. No. <laughs> Just gonna start let's, fish. let's not feed the beasts. <laughs> let's not feed the beasts. Because you know what happens when you feed them? They come back for more. <laughs> anyway, I'm not actually shouting this argument in character because <laughs> otherwise we'd all be dead by now. Yep. Uh, um, and she's just showing the, the fish like. All right, well, I'm going to do real quick because I've just been standing here. <laughs> yeah. Is I'm gonna take out my axe. Yeah. And then I'm gonna like get a head start and jump onto the first platform and use my axe 
as like an anchor in case I start sliding around. Oh, okay, so make your decks, and then and you... you're gonna have an advantage on it because you're using your. Oh, I got a nineteen. Ah, uh, you're straight across, so you're you're on the platform with Nyala now, and you have no rope tied to you. No, I got my axe. I'm good. I do it again on the second platform. Come on, let's see if you can hop across with your elven light in this. Number let's go! So you're now with Arden. Putting us to shame. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump off to the right, oh, and I want to go and see what that body is. Okay. So, uh, because it could be one of the other four party members. But it could crash. be a trap. It could be a trap, but if it's a trap, I'm dropping you. I just, we'll just find out when I get there. Um, I jump over to it. So you um, you need to do decks to get there, uh, acrobatics. Okay, here we go. Here we go. That's a twenty-two. Right, you land completely sure-footedness. Now taking into account the glacial edges of this platform, um, and I'm gonna make an investigation roll on this this. Can I check for traps first? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, go. You're going to make a what you're going to do to look. I'm sure that'll be an investigation or perception, yeah. isn't it? I don't know. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. That's a 17. So, you look around. There doesn't seem to be anything apart from this heap. Okay. I'm going to dust off whatever snow or ice is on it frost you dust off try the and outer. make out what i can of the body you dust out the outer layer and you see um a corpse preserved in the ice laying down on its front clutching something you can see a hilt underneath the back of its hand as it's laying down it's back to you, but the ice is solid on top of it. It's kind of frozen inside, like inside this permafrost. So is the is the is the hilt above the permafrost or in the permafrost? Inside. It's just got a blade. Okay. Is there anything? Is there any part of the body which is accessible? Just the the boot, the, the boot is sticking out. That's the bit that you saw, and it like kind of the end of like a bit of a cape that's kind of con kind of concealing most of the body. From the from the back, you can't make out the. Sh you can sort of see the shape of a body, the foot sticking out, the boot is hanging out of the ice. Um, yeah, I really want that body. <laughs> it, it's been here a while though. This might not be worth it. But ice. Do you think we can pick up something? Cool hilt. I can pay that much. Right? I mean, Just, it, it could dead. have. There could it's be, there could be a map. There could be notes. There could be anything about who this person was and why they were down here and how they were traversing through. Um, I'm you not actually saying any of this out loud. Um, while I expect Nyala and um, Sim to continue running because we want to keep this quietly and quickly, I'm just going to hold up my torch. Yeah. which is now extinguished, and wave it at Sin in the hopes of Sin lighting it back up so I can melt some of the ice around the body. So the ice starts dripping away. Where are you melting it from? Where are you going? Because like it's, it's, it's top end is more encased, the bottom end is less encased. The, the bottom end, the just um, around the waist. Okay, towards the waist. So towards the waist. As you start melting this away, um it's slow going um but you um manage to clear an element of uh, uh a space around the base of this hilt of the sword and as it the kind of misty refraction of the ice comes clear there is um a, a sword with a delicately um engraved Mystic? hilt of the of what appears to be uh, a, a weapon of some sort, like really beautiful filigree on it. 
and some is sort it any of like, particular is, is there any kind of is it a language that i could make out uh uh what do you Probably speak they not I speak halfling and I speak common, <laughs> so probably not. No. Um, okay, um, I'm going to try and melt a little bit more. Okay. So I can see any kind of pouches or if, if there's any kind of satchels or pockets that okay. I can get to around the torso of the body. So we're going to hop back to Sin and Niala. So uh, Niala first. So you are on the first platform. Um, With the rope tied around so, you. So second, yeah. The second platform is um, is three, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, at the moment, is free. At the moment, Sin's on that platform. Oh, yeah. Mm. I'm going to stay on the first one. Uh, but what I'm going to do is actually observe the, the form that is moving around and just keeping an eye on it, uh, just in case. So you're kind of like readying then, are you? Like with the... For, for something to come up. Okay, cool. No, no problem. Uh, what are you at, Sin? I really want to see what Arden's investigating, right? Your, that. Yeah, that's off to your right, and you've got the platform slightly off to your left that would be uh, your, your route. Mm. I do like a shout whisper. Yeah. Or like... Stage whisper. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, do you need any oh. help? Like, do you need any help breaking um, I just turn over and kind of signal to just keep going. All right. So, seeing that signal, I jump onto uh, the way we were planning. Okay, cool. So, acrobatics? 20. <laughs> Oh, I'm doing good you leap, And you actually do a double leap. So you land on the third one and leap to the fourth one, all in kind of one fluid elven maneuver with the axe out. And you slide to a halt on the fourth one, breaking with the axe behind you and land sort of, you know, full on Marvel landing on that one. Um, uh, now, uh, Niana, you're still standing there, Van Arden. The ice is melting around the thing. The um, handle of, you can now get some movement on the handle of this blade, uh, and there is a pouch you can slide your hand into. Okay, I'm going to go for the pouch, grab whatever I can from the pouch, stuff it in my pouches, not even going to worry about looking at it and seeing what it is at the moment. I'm just going to grab whatever contents of whatever I can get at first, mm -hmm. and then grab the sword. Okay, you take out a small leather bound or dagger book. or whatever it is. You're going to leave the. You grab the sword as well. Grab the item as well. Yeah. yeah so you grab the book um, that is inside the pouch. It's a leather-bound thing with a um, um, a leather thong tying it shut. Um, it's damp, but it seems quite well preserved inside this outer casing. Uh, and you have uh, and you pull out this this blade and tuck it in your cloak. And you're going to check it out later. Um, Maruk, you've got now the rope is getting gradually tauter as uh, it is going across the chasm, and you have Niala and um, Arden across. I'm still just standing there, being a rock hard base because, like, we tied the two, like, my rope with Van Arden's rope to make a hundred foot. Yeah. Um, and then obviously uh, Niala tied Niala's hers. got hers on, like, off yeah. halfway. So yeah, I'm I'm literally just stood there making sure they don't fall okay cool like, like a very protective father <laughs> okay you're standing stern and how old is how old is rook uh he is uh 29 okay i don't know how 25 
I don't know how 25. that bug there is that works really. Like, uh, so. let's have a look. Oh, it's not in that, is it? But um, so yeah, bug bear uh, is that's like 103 or something. I'll get back to you. Yeah. Um, so as you as you um, uh, as it, as you hear that uh, as you stand there firm, you uh, you can hear this sliding sound from beneath you now. Mm -hmm. um, it comes to your ears louder like something is moving with more rapidity in the pit below as you're uh, standing stock still yeah, yeah is just watching it you see something glide black glistening in darkness below you oh, no. can I see this if it I has it intentions of attacking you have no idea what it is doing. It's getting I, faster. I we need to be doing the same thing. <laughs> okay, you you have been so focused on this stuff. You haven't seen this at all, Arden. And yeah. then you've been leaping, so you don't know this uh, increased awareness or or increased movement below you. Uh, Rook, are you going to warn the guys? Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna be like, so I'm, I'm just trying to find out the the age range. I was like, right, <laughs> go, Van Arden, get back on the fucking path and go, <laughs> Niala, I will spray water at you if you don't go now. <laughs> exactly, get going. When we get to the next town, we have definitely got to invest in a spray gun. Yeah. Um, Wait, oh, yeah, you sure. don't have water. Okay, so, um, <laughs> um, I, I just quickly rummage to see if there's anything else quickly I can grab before turning around and leaping. The that, ice is too um, firm and to leaping get anything now, else with second, but to the third. All right, so I just found a thing for rush, the bugbear. And I run for the third. Yeah, um, so, so again. For the bugbear, they live up to 80. Oh, there you go. So 29 makes them about 35 in human years, Yeah, more or less. <laughs> Okay, so um, you need to make your leap checks, please, Arden. Da, da, da. One, two, three to do. That is 16, first one. Yeah. Um, ooh, the second one's a 12. You, sure. you make that. Okay. And then the final one is a 24. So you're right on the far ledge now. The rope is now quite stretched um, with the weight of the rope also like hanging down in the chasm. There's, there is slack to it, but because of the distance, as you know, like a rope's mechanics will hang down. Um, Niara, your rope is now still attached to this section of rope. And... Uh, uh, Sin, you're on the last platform. You just saw Arden monk past you, basically. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> well, am I just picturing, like, like just jumping onto his pot, like his, his, his uh, sticky pole, and then just pole like, vaulting over? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Niala, you jump in? Yes, I'm going to move, yes. Uh, I don't know. Do I move the two or only the one? Since um, all of we all need to get across before Rook can even at before we even stand a hope at holding Rook's body. Yeah. 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 I'm going to. I'm going to move. I'm going to go at uh, the same level as you guys. Okay. So you got one, two, three from where you are. So three acrobatics. Yeah. <laughs> It's just the luck of the dice, this kind mm. of. It, it really is. Like, you could be the best at dexterity mm. <laughs> and go tumbling off the edge with a low roll. <laughs> so, I got a 10, a 15, and a 17. In that order? Okay, so you leap to the first one and slide. You fall from the far side. Uh, Marek, strength? 
Combined with Arden's, actually, so make a strength. Oh. Yeah, okay. Because uh, is it is it tied? Is your rope tied oh. to the rope or tied oh. to my rook? Um, Niala's rope tied is the... tied to the rope. Yeah, so yeah. yours attached to the rope. It's like halfway between. Yeah. yeah, go on. Um, would this be athletics or just a straight strength? Straight strength, because it's gone. I mean, mine was minus one in that. Natural twenty plus three, so twenty three. Oh, okay. So yeah, that overcomes absolute, absolute success because the nat twenty <laughs> there. Okay, so Baruch stands firm. Just like you, <laughs> you manage to slide, you slide back, but you 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 don't quite you don't fall. Niala, you're hanging down into the pit, and you get a closer look now at what is writhing below you, and it's it turns. And you see something tentacle-like start to spiral around the column that you tried to leap to. Get up. Yeah, this is now. much, much worse than what I thought it was going to be. Um, no. <laughs> okay. Um, it's just, it's just, I just climb. Can I, can I use the other dice that I made? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can use those ones. So the first one gets you back onto the same platform and this tentacle's now starting to writhe around the platform you're on. I'm going to start pulling whatever slack there is on the rope between me mm. and Nyala. Okay, cool. Um, so you, and you're going to make your and second one. So you're on the last platform now. You've got uh, one yeah. jump to make. So another one. Yeah, sadly. So, thirteen. Yeah, you you're across. So you jump and uh, you kind of land onto Arden, and then there's this probing tentacle kind of lays itself on top of the space where it thought you were, and moves around, kind of like swaying like this at the third platform across the way. I well, just shit. wave at Morrock now and I grab hold of the rope. I guess it's my go. I gesture to the others to, to do the same and I I get everybody to kind of stand about 10 feet, 10, 15 feet back from the edge so 10, that we can 15 um, feet actually, dig ourselves in. Um, when you get to about 10 foot back, you're actually in the hole that you saw the other side so you get a... Oh, okay, then no. You get, no, no it's a, you get a you actually kind of can tip down into the hole so your feet against bedrock and lean oh, okay. so that's rope. Yeah. So you are really braced and the other guys are holding further along. Wait, real okay. quick. I want to turn into a bear so that we have like more Extra weight. Strength. Ah yeah, yeah. yeah. So let you... him be the anchor. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. I like yeah. it. Bear's like the it. anchor. Forget me. <laughs> my minus one strength. <laughs> Let's send me the anchor here. <laughs> so uh, you just, you look as you're kind of starting to almost abseil in this hole and Sin polymorphs into this huge bear form and kind of just cocks its head and looks at you like, what, can you leave me? You could have done that earlier. <laughs> and um, uh, so... And you're a genius. Don't let him, don't let him uh, belittle you. Yep. And so you... Um, anyway, Rook, go. Go, go. How many um, jumps do I have? One, two, three, four, five jumps. One, two, three, four, five, five D20. Here we go. <laughs> um, so that is a 19 for the first one. Yeah. A 16 for the second one. Yeah. An 18 for the next one. Yeah. Another 16. Yeah. And then a 14. They all pass. So oh. absolutely beast cross. Um with the help of uh, a bear weighing you down and giving <laughs> yeah. you an extra a little tug every time you jump and you, he thinks you're just skipping the edge. It gives you that extra bit of momentum to pull you onto the ledge. Um and the tentacles uh, up in the air. Make a quick uh, a dex for me, Muruk. Just straight decks. Yeah, with advantage because you're stealth. So. Oh, yeah. 
That is an I mean, 18. I don't know how we've managed to continue I stealth. We have, no, so I don't well. know either. <laughs> well, you, you were stealth. It's only the ice that was falling that was seemed to be arousing the creature's suspicions below you. So, um, you know, let... running on ice is quieter than running on rock. Yeah, yeah, potentially. Yeah. You presume probably that it's vibrational rather than sound that this mm. is sensing. Um, and you jump across and you're the far side. And then you see from the pit below a writhing mass of tentacles join the first one. It's the Kraken. This day just keeps it's, getting better it's, and better. it's a big Kraken. It's a probably kraken. a good job we yeah. missed that. The, the hole is beside you guys. Let's they go start down. probing towards where Moruk has travelled, traverse the air. Let's go down the hole. Is it big enough for me to Why? continue as a bear? Isn't it just, is it a slope or is it a... It's hole? a kind of drop down and then along. Ah, uh, no. Right. Then How far is the drop? Do we can we see? Or yeah, is yeah, it too yeah. Dark? It's about six to eight feet. It's not a dangerous drop. Plus, oh. we've oh. still got the rope. Mm -hmm. Drop and run, and I say <laughs> we just get as far away from it as we okay, can so safely, and then athletics, the guys. Oh, I'm good at this. Everybody, seventeen. Okay, twenty-one. Uh, that's, uh, oh, you are good. I have good rolls. <laughs> oh, I'm staying in my bear form. I'm just saying. Because I got a plus four for that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was actually a good roll. I got a natural 20 with that. So it's a uh, total of 24. And Arden? That was a sad thing. We don't need to worry about. We don't need to worry about mine. I feel like we do. Go on. It was a six. <laughs> on the group roll that you're pelting it down, the front, you charge, drop down the hole, and start running for your lives. This mass of like tentacles stretches up and time, out of the pit and stretches down after you. You glance over your shoulders, and all you can see is almost liquid black suckers serrated on the inside chasing you following you down this tunnel reaching out for you Can trying I... to clip at your ankles and you all of a sudden it goes caught and can move no further and it seems to have reached its limit and it gradually recides the walls drip with a slimy ichor and the smell of something old Oh. Ancient recedes. I told you there'd be some ancient down here. <laughs> I'm going to take out a vial and just get whatever of that icker I can into a you're, vial. You're, you're walking back towards it. Well, I'm not. I, just the very edge just, of where it was. Okay, just make the very edge of where it could get to. Make a slight Stealth hand. It. Slight a hand. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna grab the rope and yeah. just uh, take uh, chug him back in if uh, the tentacles um, come okay. back. Okay. I'll take the natural nineteen with a plus five, so that's twenty four. Okay. So you're so quiet on your sneaking back, you scoop a vial of this strange ichor from the wall. You now have a vial of tentacle ancient tentacle ichor. <laughs> I don't know when that's going to come in useful, but don't judge know. me. Don't judge me. It could. No. You, you never know. No, no Yala just, Yala just look at him, and she's like, "Do you think I could have eat that?" It's okay. It looks like. No. Uh, but I'm no. hungry. Do you like fish? That's different. Kind of maybe fish. stay off the. That calamari. is like the biggest calamari you've seen <laughs> in your life. <laughs> uh, so you are now. Uh, at the far side of this place and you see the the corridor um that you've dropped down into again curves slightly to the left this time and drops down again going more into the the bedrock of this uh continent that you're on just gotta keep going forward okay. i think team mm -hmm. so you proceed along this passageway and um a chamber opens up in front of you 
um, in this space across the way, you see a patch of uh, mushrooms growing. Not the same type of mushrooms that you've seen previously, um, but another patch. They're not moving. They don't seem to be animate. They are straight across the room. Um, there are two large um, crops of rock um, in front of you. So there's a passageway through the middle of them. There's a passageway either side of them. The mushrooms are the far side. Just to the right of them, you see another crack like the exit of that cavern. I take a moment to pull out the book. You're gonna look at the book, make a investigation as to what you're looking at here. And what what languages do you Sin speak in Yala and Muruk? I speak celestial, common, and draconic. Mm -hmm. uh, I speak common, druid, elvish, giant, and sylvan. Okay. Uh, common and goblin. Okay. You I can just see speak common and goblin. Um, so I some got the, eighteen. Some of the text is in a language you uh, can read straight away. Um, uh, the the script is quite looping um and uh there's a bit that you can't read but it appears to be um there are pictures of the different myconids that you've seen before um uh but the script and there's bits of text saying like uh, encyclopedia and then you can kind of make out that part um uh but you can't make out all of the um, the text. Okay. I show it to the others. So, can any of you make out any of this text? So, Sin, you see two things. Within, Sin sees within this text. There are some druidic messages throughout hints not really the spoken uh, uh, a written language as such but certain things are placed upon the page that mean mean intrinsically to you that this is a person of nature that this book this book belonged to a member of the druidic tradition and there may be more information to glean from it immediately you see upon the page written uh, there are all the different pictures of the myconids and some of the ones that you've seen before, some of the sentient ones. Can you make an investigation check to see if you can work out what the ones the far side are? Uh, yeah, what's my thing for investigation? Oh, zero. Damn, okay. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. You know the text, you read through it, and you realise that those... Um, are part of a concoction. They would be part of a, um, a concoction that would take you on a celestial trip, but it's not the full part. It's only part of the ingredient, the, the, the brew that you would need to create to make this. Uh, real quick, just want to let you guys know, I'm still in my bear form, so... <laughs> Yeah, you're just like the artist, yeah, holding a book like. Yeah, holding <laughs> it for me, and I'm like, and I'm like. Rrr. I'm kind of just like picturing Beast from X Men, just like, oh yes, I'm, I'm. but <laughs> little spectacles on the end. At the same time, that's kind of how I see Brooke. Yeah, yeah, I know. yeah. So uh, yeah, they, you you know them to be a component for something that would help you travel. Um, and from what um, um, Maruk said earlier, he mentioned, uh, he mentioned, he said part, they're part of the travel to so the mushrooms that he was given. Oh, okay. So I go back like to normal, right? Yeah. 
And I did like a big yawn. <laughs> Damn. That's like, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, you got two, you got a component. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, wait, did I know that that Rook only has part of the component? Or he, he was said, that on he his He said hands? it out loud. When he told he, us before we left, yeah. Yeah, he said it's uh, part. Okay. It was like halfway or something. Yeah, halfway. Oh, okay. We'll so, like, after um, reading the journal and remembering what Rook said, I say, guys, I think that the person that we, the, the person that, you know, we looted before, um, I think he figured out how, I think he figured out the rest of the things that we need for the astral production, projection. And the other half is the mushrooms that are on the other side of the room. You said the other side of the room, right? Yeah, they're like, the far yeah, side of the side. Side. Yeah. They're on a slight sort of raised dais as you look over um, above the, 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 the floor proper. They're kind of on a ledge about sort of four feet up on a little speck of land. And there's some of that... Um, Kind of uh, myconid phosphorescent glow lighting them up. Um, in the journal, does it say that we need to like eat them together, crush them, or like? You could it it, it um you flicking through right now in this cave. Um, you need to study the book proper. You believe for, like to gleam any further way to concoct them into the spell. It seems there are many complex instructions within this book. You can make a, uh, you, what was your investigation when you looked at it? It was like 17, uh, uh, 12. Well, 12, yeah. So right now, no, you'd have to sort of attune yourself, sit with the book, read through it and learn its ways, learn the secrets contained within it. Mm -hmm. I, I turn to the group and say do you guys want to rest here a while or do you guys want to keep going on you know what let's rest for a while because this thing and because i'm angry uh, this thing was scary as heck okay okay so you you need to charge my phone i come back you gonna make camp who's do are we doing watches how are we doing this I'll, I'll take watch. First watch, okay. Mm. You gonna rest? Or you got you got no hit points down? No, I'm good. I'm don't need a rest. I'll just take the like the whole watch if everyone else wants to rest. Cool. So you know you you uh, are you aware about barbarian. like you you're aware about like fatigue rules and stuff like that. Uh, exhaustion, I'm not, no. isn't it? Levels of exhaustion. Uh, yeah, levels of exhaustion. Never mind. I'll I'll take a short rest. Yeah. Okay. So you short rest while. Um, you could maybe swap with Sin would be the best yeah. way to do it. So Sin can do your going your trance whoop, while Maruk takes a short rest. Because mm. I don't think I was like hurt or anything. And can I just someone... need a short rest to restore my wild shape. So I'm good. Okay. I, I'll take can... a short rest because I got Does a bit of someone... in the face. Go on. Um, can someone uh, actually heal? Yeah, we, if you've got a cantrip, just heal it. No, I have a cantrip. I only have first and second level spells that I never use. Wait, it's for my pole. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. I need, the, uh, yeah, I need three HP. Oh, okay. I'm going to just do... Hmm. I can go... Uh, I'll do a healing word. I mean, no, cure wound. So I just like, um, so I asked Niala, did I say it right? <laughs> yeah. I asked her to like put her palm on and I go like, bam. <laughs> That's the most <laughs> hip hop elf ever. Bam, you healed. Go wounds, <laughs> smack. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, please slap him around the face to kick, kick your wounds. This is this kind of two-phased part of sin. Like, 
absolute calm, precision, and he's out. vicious. Sheen. And then slicing through dead. Sin is brutal. Go <laughs> <laughs> and low rocks. And low rocks. And, and remember, oh, this is Sin is a woman. No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sin is. A woman. Sin was the one. She's dark. That put the axe to this guy's throat when he was half dead and just <laughs> finished the job. Slice. It's like there's his skull, she slides through his yeah. skull. Like... And tore open a half orc as a buyer. Yeah. yeah. Like... What I'm gonna do is when Sin slap, I'm just go just go cry a bit and say, yeah. <laughs> As I'm, I'm I mean... going to to slap just slap her in her, in her forehead, just her forehead to just back down, uh, but okay. nothing enough to hurt her. Okay. Are you crazy? Nice. <laughs> I only. Do I get all of my um HP? So what did you hear? Yeah, about? You, you got you got nine hit points. You're good because I have a plus four to healing and I roll a five. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, you're you're back up to max. And you're standing at the edge of this cave. Uh, how long is it gonna take to go through the journal? Um, you probably have to do that as a long rest. You'd have to kind of camp to do that kind of thing. Right. So what was um, like my turn or like shortly before my turn? I like to grab like like two handfuls of the mushrooms that were in the other side of the room. Okay. Just like Okay, so they're about they're probably forty foot away across the room. And the room's about sixty wide sort of thing. So sixty by forty in an oval shape. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll just walk up to like to the mushrooms and like just just grab as much as I can. I put them in like. Okay. So you pouch. walk about halfway across the room. Uh oh. <laughs> and you hear a sound, and you. <laughs> Uh, what's your armor class? 13. And you see, shoot down beside you with a heavy whoop, what appears to be a heavy lump of rock, but then you look down and realize that it's writhing. It's uh, sort of, and an eye opens in the side of this stalagmite and stares at you and screeches. Ah! Alright, I'm, I'm, what I'm gonna do real quick <laughs> is... What kind of love you, Lovecraftian nightmare are we in? <laughs> I <laughs> don't know. Tentacles, rocks <laughs> with eyes. Do you want to see looks that... like this thing? Yeah, come guys, on. I want, I want to guys, 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 remember what it said? That, that we are to go, that we are to travel, and all the thing that he said? This thing? Maybe. Oh, fuck. That lands I'm on the a... floor beside you and screeches at you and opens its eye. I'm That's a... cute. Yeah, it is. It's real cute. It's I'm not. Freak out. Grab my axe and like ah. Okay, roll for initiative. <laughs> Everyone. Everyone. No, well, no, just sin actually. Just sin. Okay. He's engaged. How many of them are? <laughs> Nine. Nine. Okay. Uh... Uh, 12. So I'll go first. I just love how our healer is the most violent mm. of us all. It, try, it starts to crawl along the floor, away f um, trying to get away from you, it would appear. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Do I, how many feet? And it moves five feet away from you. It's five like, feet away from me, so... No, five feet away from Sin. So Sin's out in the middle of the room, so mm -hmm. tra I've travelled about 20, 20 feet, maybe, 15, 20 feet okay. out across the room. It's now moved five feet towards the mushrooms. I'm, I'm, going, oh, to okay. to, I'm going to firebolt it. No, 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 the mushrooms. No, <laughs> not the mushrooms. <laughs> Not so much. What's the radius on fireball? Oh, this is gonna oh, go so bad. And if you miss, I can hit the mushrooms. I'm just saying. 
Uh, there's no radius. There's no radius. Fireball is just like a bolt. It's oh, not, it's not, not fireball. Fireball. Yeah. <laughs> fireball. Say, level one, three. How did you get one. that? Jeez. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to try and firebolt the one that the the, the the creature on the floor in front of Sin. Yeah. Okay. Oh, go it's going to go so badly. <sighs> you're lucky. It's a ten. No, shooting flames soar past, skim its little pink fleshy hide, and there's a sizzle. It goes, <laughs> but nothing more, and it continues to try and slither away from. Uh, sin sin you are it has it's broken combat with you so you actually get um uh, an attack on it i uh, just grab it i'm gonna try and grab at this thing yeah i want to like pick it up i want to oh that's great okay this... so make, make a how make, long is it a straight this forward strength so check well. Strength? What's my strength? I don't even you're know just my strength. Pick it. You're trying to grapple it, aren't you? So yeah, it's a strength. Oh no! So um, roll a strength. This is going to go fire. so well. I want to use my inspiration from last game to gain advantage on it. Okay. Let me let me get rid of that real quick. Uh, okay. Bam. Okay. Eleven. So you beat its strength contest, but now you're standing in the middle of the room holding this squirming, wriggling thing with teeth and pincers going like this in front of your face. And I turn to the group and say, guys, look what I found. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just... Yeah, it's just like a proud cat that brings in a dead mouse. <laughs> That's the episode title right there. Sin's squishy slug. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I think you yeah. gained your inspiration back. <laughs> Immediate spent it immediately. <laughs> yeah. Yeah is going to the thing and just grab it. <laughs> Grab the thing and just try to scratch it for it to, to just uh, die. No, no, I put it away. I put uh, her so away. Niala, as you walk across the room. Uh oh. Oh no. Do we all get one? <laughs> Can I look at the ceiling, please? Five, six, seven. Uh, uh, seven piercing damage. Why? as one of them falls again from the ceiling and lands straight on top of you and slices through part of your shoulder. Ooh. How as many I did you say? Too, damn, I should just wait in. So there's one on the floor. Seven piercing damage. Seven? Yeah. They got a nat 20. <laughs> oh. So, oh, damn. I'm sorry, what? So, so... So before this surprise round is over, because I'm guessing this is what <laughs> yeah, it is, you can roll. Um, I'm, I'm going to look up at the ceiling and just see how many more of these things there are. Because I was going to sit down and look at my sword, but <laughs> then the children Maybe started so playing. You look up and you see there are another two in the space near Sin and Niala of these. Um, what look like stalagmites, but as you look closer now, you can see them kind of moving across the ceiling, trying to get to where the the other characters are below. Your party members are below. Um, you see two to your right on the right hand passage. You see none to the left hand side. So you've got these two lumps so of rock. Six in total. Uh, there's mm. two on the. There's one that's on the ground. Two on the ground. Two above them, and two to the right. Yeah, and none on the left hand. So you've got these two rocks in front of you as well. They're kind of two regarding one passage. There's two on the on the other one as well that are still up on the ceiling. Okay. Well shit. Here we go. Um They behave these creatures very I just, strangely. I just looked to Rook. Yeah, gone. And and the other two there's two that are moving towards Niala and Sin as we speak, yeah? Yeah, they're kind of making their way across the ceiling kind of looking to get 
purchase to drop? Um, right. I'm first going to shout out to Rook and just point at them, the ones that are up at the ceiling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rook. <laughs> um, Smash. And, and then <laughs> I'm yes. just like, Nyala, sin above you. Okay, and so then I'm literally out. just going to draw my sword and run for the other two that are and at we, the... We all roll for initiative then, please. Try. What did I roll? Or do I roll again? You can roll in. Uh, keep your roll one. Watch your... Is... 18. Okay. 18. 18. Snap, snap. Um, go on, Arden. Well, apparently it takes me a while to get up because I rolled a six. Okay. So, um... <sighs> Did I roll a nine? Yeah, yeah. I think you got you got um you got ahead of them. So I think yours was a nine. So it's in. Um, right. Who's going to go first with uh, um, uh, Nyala and Morok? Is it decided on like uh, a stat or something? Or no, you can just choose. Just After decide. Nyala. Okay, Ny Nyala's kind of would be, make sense because she's kind of in combat with yeah. them that's splatted to the floor. So, um, and they were both 18s. Okay, so the creatures move across the top of the room and um, one of them tries to drop on uh, Sin. Uh, 10? No, it doesn't get you. And the other one drops on Nyala again with a nat 20. <laughs> That's what you get for attacking it. I'm just saying. When you take Rook, ten, you've got to get over to Nyala first. Ten. ten. <laughs> oh, damn. oh damn! Hold on. Do, does any of you have um, potion? Uh, I've been healing for days. I'm out. Oh shit! You're unconscious. <laughs> Y'all is out. Uh, yes, I am. Oh, I'm out. Shit. Okay. I'll go. You don't worry. I got you. The other two start moving slowly across the ceiling to where Maruk and Arden are, but they've only got five. They can only, they move about five feet towards you. They're about uh, probably ten foot away now. How high is the ceiling? Uh, oh, they're ten foot away. They're, they're, is that ten they're foot range feet, or they're uh, ten feet in uh, parallel distance? They're about uh, 20 feet above, maybe. Oh. Huh. 15 to 20 feet up above you. I don't know whether I've, whether I've got it yet. But so I'm next not, is so Nyala. Like so you, the one one of them's landed beside you. Sin's holding another one that's squiggling. And that you've got two of them by your feet that are now squirming. Um, but they're trying to back I'm, away. I'm unconscious. Okay, they're squirming round your body. That's a death saving throw. Not on, uh, yeah, it's Wait. a death saving throw on your turn. No, it's an, it's an immediate, if she gets attacked while she's unconscious, that's an immediate fail of one death saving throw. Uh, mm. They can't, it's not their turn. It's Nyala's turn, so. Okay. Uh, it's never really current. So, so I make, uh, I make a, de a death save? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Te ten or higher is a success. You roll a d20. Till someone heals you. Just hold. Or stay Just roll 10 or high. And not on that one. Wait. D&D Beyond is uh, slow. Yeah, you're glitching a bit as well. Mm. There's Yeah, my video is stuttering. There's a really good app where you can select all the different types of dice and how many of them you want to roll on your phone called RPG Simple Dice. This is not a plug. <laughs> um, it's just it's just a really good app for yeah. rolling dice on your phone quickly. Not sponsored. <laughs> not spawn. Hashtag. It's a free app, so I don't know how they make any money. <laughs> There's no ads on it. I either. pass. Cool. But barely. Oh, you, you're cool. Twelve. You you buy. It's Four. fine. So the, it's one, these three. creatures that are on the floor. Um, uh, as their sort of bonus are going to are trying to back away from any of you. They're trying uh, to any squirm of them toward... within range of a opportunity of attack or not? Um, not anyone that they were engaged with Nyala. 
So, um, Sin, you and can maybe. Unconscious, so she can't yeah, so um, it's Marook's go. So let's say it's Marook's go. Um, I'm going to take out my spear, which has a 20 foot range, and I'm just going to start stabbing at the ones on the ceiling. 20 okay. foot range with a spear. Is it? You're chucking it. No, I'm just going to jab at them. 20 foot spear, Jesus. Yeah. 20 foot spear, that's a big spear. Plus. So, what do you just um, add your strength? Or is it your deck saying if you're chucking it? Uh, it's strength. Oh, cool. All so, right. yeah, it's just jabbing at them. Plus, I get an extra five feet because I'm long limbed. Oh yes, you're a, you've got long reach because you're yeah you're larger. Well, you're, yeah, you're yeah, a bigger so creature. That's how I get the the twenty foot. I think so. so you just... get one attack, oh, obviously, because okay. it's two handed, yeah. isn't it? So one attack. Well, it's 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 uh, versatile, so I can do one or two. Oh, okay, so versatile. Oh. Um, if you had a small weapon in your other hand, you could. Yeah, no, I don't. Oh, they're, they're too far away to. Yeah. Two hand fight. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna jab at this guy with my spear. I'm not gonna rage because they they look quite passive. Um, that is 22 to hit. Yeah. And that is a D8. Is that one I'm raging? Yeah. So that is uh, nine damage. Okay. Um, yeah, nine damage. I have to go for at least five minutes. Can you? Yeah, cool. Yeah, we'll 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 keep you alive. Yeah. Hopefully. Thank you. Oh, 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 Just we'll skip minute. It won't take long. Yeah, no worries. Okay. Okay. So. Um, yeah, there's still one on the ceiling, and then the other three are two on the floor. Um. Uh. There's two on the ceiling still. Um. There's, uh, there are now three on the floor, sorry, and one in Sin's arms, cradling it like a, <laughs> I love a, a little child. Um, it's now it's uh, um, it's Sin's go. So you've got this one. you're armed with a squirming <laughs> thing creature. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> You have any weapons because you've grappled this thing, so like well, you grabbed it with both hands. Like Ugh. Um am I next to Niala? Sorry? Am I next to Niala? Like, yeah, Niala's right? on the ground next to you. Yeah. Alright. So I'ma like pull a knee down or something so that I can like try to have him like in my hole. Mm -hmm. But also what was the I forgot the name of the spell. Uh, uh, cure wounds. Yeah, or cure wounds. Healing her. touch. Yeah, cure oh, wounds. It. Okay, roll for your heal on the other. Uh, one. And you've got this thing pinned underneath <laughs> your knee. Uh, this would be a yeah. Okay. Four plus four, eight points. Cool. So she's back up. Cool. We'll tell her when she gets back. She'll be pleased. Um, Eight points. That's good. Um, um, can you roll a strength check with disadvantage, please? I'm gonna use my inspiration. Okay, so it's just straight strength. Eighteen. You manage to hold on to this squirming object underneath your arm. That's clashing. It's Ooh, rolling has been amazing tonight. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, I'm like so happy right now. Absolutely smashing it, man. Um, Why do I fear we've picked up another useless life form? <laughs> and now you've gone round your background um to oh yeah, snack. Oh time. beautiful. Um your background to is to Arden now and hey, Niala, you with it. Uh, Niala, you're up eight points. Yeah. You're down, you're down. You're you've been down. healed. You're yeah. healed eight Niala, points. you're per permadeath. Dead. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> crouched to you and healed you by eight points with heat. Um, cure wounds. Uh, Arden, it's your go. There's one on the ceiling. There are uh, three. Just on the one on the ceiling. Uh, sorry, two on the ceiling uh, and three, three on the floor. Yeah, two on the ceiling. being grappled. Okay, where are the two on the ceiling moving towards? Uh, the they're, they're now they're, well, they're proceeding towards you and Moruk. Okay, I'm going to run over to the one that 
Sin has got wind. Okay. Grapple. Yeah. And then I'm going to attack that one, just try and stab it in the face with my sword because <laughs> I think you get adva you get advantage on attack rolls to play on enemies that are yeah, grappled, grappled, right? Yeah, 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 you do. Okay, cool. I'm just going to run and stab that thing in the face. Okay, so you, that's pinned uh, down with its nips. You're going to try and get it away, your new pets in. So <laughs> I'd like you to make like uh, what are you attacking it with? <laughs> I'm just going to use my sword, my um, my Arcon blade. So Acheron strength blade. versus strength, and yeah. I guess so. Like to see if. Um... Well, my, my I can use I can use um, dexterity on my attack rolls. Okay, so yeah, um, what are you going to choose, so... strength or dex? I'm using my dex. You're using your dex. Okay, so dexterous. Yeah. <laughs> minus one strength. Get this out your way. So roll dex each of you. Oh, for... oh no! Oh, I thought that was a one. Then it's a seven. So that's thirteen in total. Okay. Oh, hold on, I get advantage, don't I? Because it's... Uh, oh, Jerry, he, he, like, he's he's countering it, so there's no advantage because he doesn't want you to hit oh, it. Oh, he cancels out the advantage. He, he doesn't he's want to you to hit it. So soon, what did you get? Of all the things you have killed, you decide to spare this one. Yeah. <laughs> then what did you get? A six. A six, no. So I got man, 13. You, you, you get Should your... we at least keep it for food? You get your strike on it. So what damage do you do? I do... Um, that is... <laughs> Bear with me, sorry. Come on, D&D &D Beyond. No, that's a dart, not a sword. <laughs> sorry. That's... Um, oh, that's eight damage. Okay. No! <laughs> <laughs> Sin's like a small tear appears in the corner of Sin's eye as you've hurt his new pet. Uh, new no! pet. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're back up to um, the. Oh, hold on. I'm not done yet. Oh, sorry, got your second attack. Sorry. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm just. <laughs> I'm tempted to punch Sin in the face. Please <laughs> um... do it. I'm tempted. I'm tempted, but I'm not going to because I am lawful neutral. Oh, um, zero. <laughs> not evil yet. <laughs> the party is <laughs> gradually swaying you. Don't worry, the, the great the party at the moment is edging my alignment. Um, the thing is, I'm lawful good. I should <laughs> be encouraging. Oh, fine. Rook is solid. <laughs> I am. Um... Right. Um, I, I'm uh, actually ask her, oh. he is a chaotic natural, so yeah, oh, we've right. got such a weird mixture, haven't we? Yeah, we really right, do. I'm going to use a key point, a key point <laughs> even, um, to do a flurry of blows okay. on the one that <laughs> is on. holding on sin. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so first hit is a natural 20. Oh. Um, so that is four plus three. So that's, oh, you got lucky. I load roll, I roll, I roll yes. <laughs> So that's seven damage in total for the okay. first strike. Yeah. Is it still alive? It looks very unwell in his arms. God, these things just don't die easy and they hit hard. Right, um, okay. And then um, how the much final strike. how much health does it have? You got eight back. No, um the creature, how much health does it does it um have? Uh, um, I'll I'll show oh, you after God. the encounter. Yeah, we we, read it up. we need to start playing maths. And that one's a seven. Okay. It's it's Wait. barely it's breathing this creature. <laughs> <laughs> so after another seven damage it's so yeah so from this oh my god so i've done how much damage did i do on my sword attack uh, uh not much did seven nine seven 23. I've, I've, okay, so I've done eight, a seven, and a seven. Oh, no, I did nine, a seven, a seven. No, you okay. did. Hold on. Let me do it. Uh, you did. Oh, hold on. Sorry. It's my calculation. Sorry. No, it, it goes limp in Sin's arm. Sorry. 
Oh, okay. So it's dead. Sweet. Watch, you're going to get an axe to the back of your... <laughs> <laughs> so it goes... Um, now, um, Niala, you are you are prone because you, uh, you, you blacked out. You wake with um, to see that um, Arden is smashing this creature in uh, that Sin is cradling and bellowing with rage that he's attacking. And you look to your side, and either side of you are these squelching creatures, like slithering away from you, trying try to back up from you. Um... Just remember, they attacked us first. They didn't attack us. They did, but they missed both yeah. times. I'm just, I'm just asking myself: Are are they wise enough to avoid my next attack? Probably not. They're no. slugs. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do? You could always roll a twenty, so you never know. Mm. I've had two nat um, 20s so far. Exactly. Could be a really wise blow. With these creatures as well. <laughs> in, in a row. Yeah. I mean, have so you ever seen a I'm dog's life? What I'm going to do... Yeah. He's cast Tolls the Dead. Oh, yeah. I love that one. I like Tolls the Dead. And they have to have a wisdom of 12. Hmm. They have to have. Or do they have to save throw? Or is it a save throw? Or is that a requirement of them having 12 wisdom? Uh, they have to have 12 or above to uh, actually, actually to escape. But, oh, oh um, that's the saving throw that they have to do. Okay. Yeah. So the saving throw, they roll a 16. They're pretty stupid. They got minus two. So 14. <laughs> they saved. So they're the smart slugs. Uh, <laughs> okay, new, so new um, apple, smart you slug. got a bonus it's action, Niala? Wily smart slug. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you use that for? Because the other condition is um, they miss any of it, its points. So, but it doesn't mean miss any HP from what okay. I've seen. Cool. Uh, so um, now we're due to Maruk. You're still um, at the front of the cage, uh, cave. There's still one on the ceiling. Um, Liked. I'm debating raging, but at the same time... Wait, 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 wait. Before, before that, so they are, um, they are going away from me? Yeah. That's, that's, an, a, um, that's a, rea a reaction on my part, actually, because I have opportunity attack. Yeah, you can make an, op an attack of opportunity on them if you want to. Yeah, because they back up. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go. I'm going to grab my uh, quarter staff. Yeah. And I'm going to um, punch one of them really hard. <laughs> okay, go for it. Go on. <laughs> do it. Yeah. I got a thirteen. Yeah, that hits. I think. Hold on, let me just check. Okay. Thirteen. Uh, would you get advantage on that because it's a attack of opportunity? No. No. So no, so no you didn't. Uh, hit. You pop it on the top and it bounces off. I have a higher AC than thirteen. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. It's a tough it's like a, it's like a stone type thing. The flesh is almost like stone to make it bind in. It's got natural armor. Yeah. Yeah. I'm debating okay. raging for my divine fury. So then it's um, uh, to sin. You're now holding the limp body of your favourite, new favoured pet in your arm. Van Arden has flurried it with its with his uh, with his fists. Um, you look at this lifeless form in your arm. What do you do? <laughs> oh God. Kind of debating and attacking Arden, kind of debating and doing nothing. You can maybe grab another to have another one. <laughs> you can attack it again. <laughs> it's 
looking like Pokemon. But the <laughs> ceiling slugs. Never catch them all. <laughs> I can teleport him and heal him right back up. I'm gonna do that. What? Your slug? <laughs> I'm gonna throw the slug's dead. He's dead. You can't heal a dead slug. You can't heal a dead slug. I'm gonna attack Arden and then heal him after that. <laughs> okay, just, just for the shite sake of blow. <laughs> yeah, I was like, first pet gets killed. Like, okay. So, what are you gonna uh, roll in for Arden? Uh, with my hand axe, I'm gonna just throw it at him. This is how we die fighting <laughs> over ceiling slugs. <laughs> Go on, then. Natural. So, you say again, Sam? Natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days. I, I tell you what, no, no, you don't hit me. You don't, no. because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a charge for my ring of evasion. Um, and um, I'm just going to, I'm going to dodge it. So you, um, you thought you hit with your axe, your thrown <laughs> axe. The axe sails past and embeds in the wall behind Arden on the, one of the pillars. Uh, you realize that look at him like, what the fuck? Mm. What, look at her again, like, what the uh, fuck are Arden, you doing? You, you follow the path of this axe, and you realize that the with the level of strength that it was thrown with and force, that it would have really, really hurt you. <laughs> I mean, Bending, no, I, I, would, that. <laughs> I would be mad too. That's it. That's my turn. I was, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just give him like a mean look at Arden. I was like, not nah, cool. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, what the? F I'm just like, so just like, whoa. Like, what? So, Arden is your go. It's my go. Okay. Um, <laughs> I look this at the I must again say. just to see where they are. They're, they're behind you, kind of. Now they're like behind you, coming up behind the party slowly. Um, Maruk has one in combat, so only one of them is actually traveling along towards the rest of them. I must say, this party, this campaign is absolutely what the fuck. <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I freaking love it. It's good fun. So I must say, it's a bit we crazy, isn't continue it? doing shit like this <laughs> yeah. all along. Cool. So, uh, this is going to uh, one of them it. proceeding towards you um, about 20 feet because you ran across the room. But, no, sorry, about 15 feet, so range away from 20 you. 20 feet away. 15 feet away because it's, it's made its move as well, sorry. On the ceiling, yeah? Yeah. So, okay, cool. I'm just going to keep an eye on it then. I just want to make sure I'm aware of where they where it is. Okay. Um, but I'm going to move over to Nyala and uh, try and attack the one that is closest to her. Okay. Yeah, go for it. She can't take much more. Um, make a um, wisdom so check. Uh, all of you make a wisdom check. Oh, I'm good at that. 19. 20. 22. Uh, yeah, cool. So you, you're... Great through even without the last roll. Um, you realise that these creatures... 11. Even with the appalling 11, <laughs> <laughs> you make it through. Um, and you realise that these creatures, once on the floor, cannot use their main form of attack, which is to drop upon you. So when they are on the floor... They are pretty helpless. Sweet. I'm just going to call out, just like, stop. Still up for killing them. Stop infighting. Stop attacking. Just stop. Okay. We've still got two above us that are going to come at us. Yeah, we've still got the two above you. They're, they're, they're still going to come, and if we let... <laughs> And go, they're going to go up the ceiling and they're just going to come back down at us again. Just very loudly. I don't know size. about you, but I still want to sit down and have a rest. 
Okay, cool. So you've got this one on the ceiling that's proceeding. To I'm standing there with my sword above this one, having this argument. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm there with like a spear. It's like, come on. It's like... <laughs> Okay, so Arden, what are you doing? What do you want us to do? Like, get them off the ceiling. Oh, I'm stabbing it. <laughs> Fuck it. Okay, so you're stabbing at the one on the floor. Don't worry, I've got a plan for that. I've got a plan oh, for really? that. Oh, really? I'm just going to stab the one on the floor. Okay, mm. go for it. Or at least one of and them. Anyway, I've got a plan. What am I going to do then? Crisp, crisp, crisp um, to the bone? That's... 16, what's 16 plus, yeah. It's three, so I see. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so that's, oh, that's 22. Jesus. 22 what, damage. damage? No, no, that was to hit. Sorry. I was going to say. 22 to hit. <laughs> I can't hit that hard. Please, I'm a monk. <laughs> um, uh, damage is, oh, yes, that's 10 damage. Oh, yeah, mighty and strike. I feel nice. When it's the, it's the thing uh, dropped on me, I should have done shield because I had shield. Hmm. I can go the inner way through too. Um, and then I am going to tell you what, I'm not going to spend a. Oh, actually, do I? How many have I got left? Come on, dogs, go. Bye, dogs. Oh, yeah, go on. Yeah, I'm going to spend another key point. I'm going to do another flurry of blows. On the one that's down? There's two on the ground still, isn't there? Um, so, yeah, the one that's that I've just stabbed. Yeah. 10 damage. I'm going to follow up. I'm just going to stamp on it. Yeah. Uh, that is 17. To hit. Was that cool. to hit? Sorry. That was 17 to hit. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And that's six damage. Okay. Uh, yeah. Looking very unwell, this poor stamped on bruised slug. And then last hit. That's 23 to hit. Yeah. And that is another six damage. It goes limp. Okie dokie. And for my movement, I'm going to move. Yeah. Um, directly under one of the ones on the ceiling. Okay. So the one that Muruk's not engaged with, yeah? Or the one Muruk's engaged with? Well, there's there's two on the ceiling still, isn't there? Yeah, one that Muruk's fighting with a spear. Oh, yeah, because it's still on the ceiling, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It didn't have any drop down. Yep, um, um, just one of... Yeah, the one that he isn't engaged with. Okay. I'm stand underneath it. Lovely. Okay, so they move. They try and move closer to Maruk. Um, it uh, is not above Maruk, so it can't drop. The other one is above you and drops. Uh, Natural yeah. 20. <laughs> so as it drops, I'm 14. going to use my reaction, which is deflect missiles. Okay. Uh, it's not it. Um, so I can use my reaction to. Go on. Does it count as a missile? It counts as a melee, I'm afraid. So it drops. It's, it, it's dropping. It's coming at me from like the aerial, yeah. Uh, okay, so we'll 50 50 it then. So you're going to try and use your deflect missile. <laughs> it drops <clears throat> and it uh, gets a 14. To hit? No, it misses. It doesn't hit. With ah, okay, so it just drops down, plops beside you, and with your deflection, it uh, it 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 lands wonky. It doesn't land on its spike because you've kind of half shimmed it off, um, and it takes uh, some damage as well. It, it, it didn't land as it as it should. So now there's one on the ceiling. The rest of them writhing okay. around on the floor. Um, uh, Niala, you've got these. Uh, you got uh, two by your feet. Oh, your sound's gone. Now yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, better. Yeah, there, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to go with Firebolt again. Okay. 
Roll to hit. I got a knight, a nat one. A nat? A nat one. Oh no. Okay, roll, roll your damage. No, I heard I I wrote a nat one on a two hit. Okay, so. yeah. Got a nat, she got a nat one. Yeah, so it misses completely. So uh, you were firing at your at the floor. So um, yeah, you absolutely miss. Um, and uh, uh, we'll say the flames spread on the floor, and. The bodies of the ones that are not moving catch a light and start burning. So there's two bodies of these creatures that are on fire. Sin's favourite pet, the one <laughs> Arden just smashed. And Yella is like looking at I Sin and it's like. Feeling the hate right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, now it's Maruk's go. If yeah, it... I, I'm just gonna say screw it. I'm just gonna rage, okay? Because then I get all of my cool features. Okay. Love um, it. I'm just gonna stab at this one up above again. Yeah, yeah. Um, that is a natural twenty. Ah, oh, the rage did it. The rage did it. Oh right. So <laughs> let's get some. Let's uh get my calculator the up. Red so I can... mist descends. <laughs> right. So it's what. That's a 1d10. Um, one D10. There it is. So that is 6, 7, 8, 9. Is it uh, max damage plus dice damage? It, it's you double your dice for um, for a nat 20. You double your dice and then you add your mo any modifiers that are like. Five. Got you. Okay. On your first strike. Ten. So you've got multi strikes. On um, that hit, sorry, sorry. Plus three. Bear with me. How many dice has he got wrong? <laughs> oh, it's a raging barbarian, though. Yeah. It? <laughs> Eight, On a dice. Ten. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is um. 24 damage. Oh. Viscerate thing with the, with the spear that you're holding to the ceiling. It kind of cracks into the top of its meaty, stonish body and slices through to the bedrock that it's clinging onto. The two halves cleave apart and entrails and, eye, and its eyeball drop down into a wet puddle beneath your, oh. beside your feet. Because that's with my divine fury as well. Yeah, that was beautiful. Yeah, so um, that, there's a just a wet slap of entrails and goop by your feet. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> and you stand there like ah. <laughs> um, Ew. Uh, Ew. And at this point, you realise that the threat of these creatures is kind of gone, and you can just kind of walk through and. Um, you, with your blistering rage, Muruk, kind of walk <laughs> through the rest of them with this spear, stabbing them, <laughs> piercing them, pinning them to the rocks, <laughs> uh, and basically making a mess while you're completely blind to Sin's uh, <laughs> distressed looks as you're kicking like, the flaming bodies around the place. <laughs> Uh, and uh, and you uh, eventually you kind of gather your breath, <laughs> and you look round at everybody. I just else. kind of look at this guy and I go, "This is the one who told us to stop." Yeah, um, you know, look. it's like a trigger point. Like there was just too much, <laughs> too much slug. Look, like you flipped. You were all fucking around. I was Snapped. bored. I was bored of it. I just, I wanted it done, so I just did it myself. And you need do around. It. If you need something to do it, doing, do it yourself. You glance over at Sin and Sin's look. 
This is what yes. said. <laughs> I'm on my knees, like... Sin, I think you have a target to it. Yeah, what about that? Rook, run. I'm Come going on. to blow your monkey ass to the crisp. <laughs> We're going to have an initiative again with <laughs> Um, Arden, roll uh, um, an insight. Yeah. That is 15. Okay. Were you telling the truth, Niala? Were you genuinely mad at Muruk? I... I... She doesn't like to... <laughs> she doesn't like to be told what she had to do, how to do it. And especially when it comes from a man. Ah. Okay, so... So, yeah, Rook... You... That's what you get the impression. You get the impression that she's quite serious. Sin, how are you feeling? Are you feeling like you want to attack? Are you got to... uh, I'm going to stand up, go to my axe, mm. right? <laughs> the grab my hand axe. Pull it back out the wall. Yeah, I, grab, I pull it out and then like... I, I'm like, just going to give you a little there. PSA. If this hits, I will still be raging. Hmm. I never thought I was attacking. So he takes right. half damage. Just, just gonna put it out there. <laughs> just gonna put it out there. I'm gonna put out my hand. I'm like, I'm gonna caress the blade, and then look at both of them. I like one day. Watch. Wow. Then okay. I put it away. So you retire your axe and put it away, and the situation seems diffused for for now. The passageway to the mushrooms is now clear. Uh, Sin, you can now approach what you your original target. Oh yeah, the mushrooms. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> no one forgot about that. <laughs> Everyone's completely forgot why you were in the room fighting slugs. <laughs> has sin has sin got ADHD? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that... So sin mushrooms. You... Oh slug. <laughs> oh oh. <laughs> so, sin approaches. Um, There's no shame. In it but <laughs> just um, good character building yeah uh, and collect a swathe of these mushrooms how many do you want to take uh like two or three handfuls okay so that, that. that gets you about 12 of these half parts of the i'm puzzle. crying i'm crying <laughs> uh, this so journey you, is too much you have 12 of these half parts of potions um, and you look around and everyone's a bit blooded and bruised. This cavern seems reasonably safe for now. You assume that this is a way to gather your party, you get once? gather your about. wits, and maybe make amends in this space. So this is where we're going to end the adventure for now. And uh, <laughs> take Can I just end, end it on one This is when the DM tells us yeah. to play nice. <laughs> yeah. Can I just go to Rook? Yeah. Come to his face, grab his fur, and put it down on uh, to my to my level. Yeah, it's quite a way. You can try. And just uh, strength just check. Mike. Strength check for the rook and Niala to see if she can pull you down to her level. <laughs> Go. Go on. What's yours? That's a sixteen. Um, twenty-three. Uh, Maruk doesn't move. You just pull like one small hair out of his face and are left with that in your hand. And Maruk doesn't even flinch at the plucked hair. It really hurts, to be fair. And I will go behind. No, not behind, but like besides Arden. Arden? Arden? Yeah. And use, like, just smack him behind the head. Using my Why is this going into some <laughs> sort of... <laughs> Why are we going PvP? <laughs> it's a cantrip, what's right? My, what's my passive perception? <laughs> what? You're using a cantrip on me? What are you using? Primal savagery? Uh... Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> you use acid damage on me! <laughs> 
So I'm gonna just uh just like sharpen my nails like all like Yeah, go. Uh, so quick. Uh, what do I need? That uh, lead pen. Uh, you got. Uh, you got to do an attack roll because it's. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I like ah. a cut, G. <laughs> it's a twelve. Please be his. Oh, please 12. be his worst roll of the night. Twelve. Twelve plus six, eighteen. Yeah, that hits, fan. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Uh, a deep Can I use my? I'm going to use another charge of the. Oh, but he's behind me, isn't he? So I can't see yeah, it coming. Yeah, I can't see him coming. Um, Point of damage. It's going to say I could... How much? Ten. Ten. Okay. Ten damage. Why are we going PvP? It's the second episode. Don't worry, I'll heal you. I'll Can I just you. remind everybody of their alignments and to yeah. stick to them? <laughs> like, I'm... you take that damage. Send That's damage. the most damage I've taken during the campaign. <laughs> and then I'm a chaotic neutral, so I do what I think is good, and from what I think is a is the right thing to do. So, if I choose to smack you. Yeah, you can do what you want. I will do Chaotic it. Chaotic neutral is the kind of completely like I go where I feel. So you've done that, and then what do you do? One more thing. What do you do, okay. Van? Because you've got your kind of reaction now, I guess. And then I'm gonna do my. Okay, cure. I'm just. Like just to hit him up. Do the same thing again. You know. Right. So two just... smacks, one to hurt you <laughs> and one to heal you. Yeah. <laughs> And that's uh, well, you, the... get, you get two attacks. No, you don't. We're, we're not fans, guy. You so oh. gets two attacks. I didn't think that we were in initiative. No, yeah, I, we I was gonna say, I don't think druids are that powerful. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> like... are, we, are we still fighting? I thought it was like over now. No, yeah, but you, but you... Uh, well, apparently, you started a new initiative order by attacking <laughs> me. No, but Van no, would, it was me. Van would still get. <laughs> Van would still get his reaction to Niala and uh, uh, Niala first, really. So you look at Niala after her batting you one. What do you do? Niala was missed. Just there, standing wasn't around, it? Like sorry. Niala hit. Not, yeah. Niala went for. Murug. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So you. Niala so went for Rook and Murug Sims just stands gone for stoic, me. I imagined. Like, like I imagine Rook was just like, I'm not engaging with this. <laughs> it just. <laughs> Just kind of just looks down. It's like, don't do that. Don't. Um, just and then just Arden, don't. you got you uh, you uh, react to uh, sin now. Right. Um, I think it's nap time <laughs> for sin. Um, it, it, it's nap time. So I hope this goes well. Okay. And then so right. you, you, you um, do your what you ever you wanted to do. Just right. I'm just gonna I'm gonna attack Sin. Okay. And I'm just, that's a natural twenty to hit. <laughs> um, I'm not even gonna lie. I am. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna pop that in the Discord right now. Um, not even joking. Um, <laughs> one moment. Right. What is happening? I don't know, but I think even if it would have missed, I think Niala would have helped because she thinks too. The Mur uh, Muruk, Muruk, okay, so and Sin is... need a nap, so quarter staff for both of you. Well, um, so what's the damage? So I've I just put the image so that uh, the damage I I don't want it to be like slashing. I just want to like smack her in the face with the hilt. <laughs> so um, that is eight plus four, so that's twelve damage for the first hit. Okay, where are you, Sin? Um, I'm. I'm at half health. Twelve. Half. Okay. And I'm going to use a flurry. I'm going to use my final uh, key point for a flurry of blows. Oh, God's sake. Um. So. Second attack is a that, da, 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 that's a thirteen. What's your armor class? Thirteen. Thirteen? Yeah, that's three. 
So that hits. Yeah. So that hits. Yeah. Okay. So second attack is. Uh, da, 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 da. Come on, D and D Beyond. What are you doing? Know what it's doing? One minute. So second attack is six damage. Okay. Um, and final attack as well. <laughs> um, so we'll see what happens. Final attack is fourteen plus five, so that's nineteen to hit. Straight through. And damage is six. Oh, I believe that takes down to zero, yeah? Yeah, but you can now choose whether you're going to kill or you can just sort of incapacitate. Oh, I'm just not just knocking out. No, I don't want it to, to kill. Just knocking out nap time. So Sin falls to the ground, incapacitated in this situation. Um, and then you hear... I'm... <laughs> a writhing sound from the far side of the rock oh, that you shit. didn't go round to the left hand side and you see oh crap something wiggling and that is where we will end today's oh, session <laughs> whoa <laughs> 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 <laughs>